Good morning to you. And how are you this morning? Saturday morning. Saturday morning. I was into Annika Rice on the way into work today. She's got a funny voice, hasn't she? She has. She sounds. She, she, she sounds really kind of happy. Did you listen to Annika Rice this morning, oh, Debbie? Actually, no. Radio Two. No, I must try that. Yeah, Annika Rice on a Saturday morning before Brian uh, Matthew sounds of the sixties, which is one of the best uh, radio programmes on uh, the radio. And this, I think, is one of the best television programmes on television as well. In fact, I think we should win a National Television Award. I think we should, wouldn't that be amazing? Can you imagine us at the party? Can you imagine us at the party? <laughs> Goodness me, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? At the party, can you imagine that, Dee, Dee We'd have fun, wouldn't we? Yeah, Debbie, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that would be brilliant. Of course, we'd have to take you, Debbie, as well. Of course. Of course, yes. <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe we could have our own National Television Awards, but it's just the Redditch Television Awards. <laughs> You're all invited. When, uh, when, when we do hold them, then I'll make sure I send the invites out to you. <laughs> How you doing? Anyway, um, I was going to say what a beautiful morning. It's not really here. It's raining, but, um, but we could pretend. It's a beautiful morning in the world of jewellery maker. That's right, yes, that is right. It is a gorgeous morning. Do you know what? We've got the most incredible show lined up today. We're, we've all been really, really excited. Um, a number of different reasons. We've got six different bundles today, which is really, really, really exciting. Um, we've also got Debbie with us today, which is absolutely brilliant. And um, and Debbie is shuffling, shuffling through bags and boxes. No, no, it's fine. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, Debbie's going to be giving us a bit of a masterclass in um, in polymer clay today, which is absolutely amazing. You'll find polymer clay in in a lot of the designs you're going to be seeing today. We're going to be having a um, a, a really fantastic um, um, demonstration with Debbie as we go through the show. It's going to be absolutely wonderful, and I'm going to have a go with, with some polymer clay as well. Brian, I think you should have a go as well. All right. Yeah. yeah. Fancy that? <laughs> I think maybe we should all have a go. There should be a team effort, a team effort today. Show that polymer clay. <laughs> Polymer clay is, is for everyone, absolutely everyone. Um, we've got a bundle actually um, um, featuring a polymer clay, um, well, featuring lots and lots of essentials which you will uh, need for your polymer clay hobby. Um, it is the most incredible thing, and as Debbie um, has said on a number of um, different occasions, it is completely addictive. It really, really is awesome, isn't it? It is awesome. You lose days. The problem. <laughs> <laughs> Lose days and days. And do you know what? If if the summer holidays are going to be as as wet as as the last few weeks and months and years seem to have been, um, then what a great way to while away days and days and days. I know that I spent a lot of my a lot of my um, school holidays with them um, with um, not not actually no not with boys. <laughs> They're being so rude this morning. Just behave yourself, please, Scott. Scott's saying fine on my Facebook. Um, <laughs> so, so um, I know that I whiled away a lot of um, half terms and Easter holidays and um, school holidays um, with with not not actually polymer clay, but that that kind of thing. I suppose it can be described as polymer clay, can't it? Yeah, lots of different makes of <clears throat> polymer clay. Yes. Yes, not play doh. Thank you, Ollie. Goodness me, we're going to have trouble with those two this day, aren't we? <laughs> What's this on the floor? Some gemstones on the floor. Make a fortune picking up some of these gems. You really, really could do. Right, we've got our early bird special. How is the early bird today? Is the early bird good? The early bird, the early bird is good today. We've got some gorgeous kits as well. We've got some amazing kits actually. Have we? Oh, fantastic. We've got a fantastic, um, well, we've got three brand new kits coming your way today. Would you like to see the first one? Absolutely beautiful. You are looking at Amazonite, Aragonite, Grey agate and hematite. Amazonite and aragonite. That sounds like something out of Lord of the Rings, don't you think? Aragonite, Amazonite and Frodo. <laughs> and that's going to be coming your way uh, really, really surely indeed. Absolutely. Um, I can't think of another um, aragonite, Amazonite and Mordor. <laughs> that's actually a place, isn't it? In Middle Earth, isn't it? Gandalf. There we go. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, we've, got, we've got two other brand new kits as well. Um, these kits are really, really fantastic this morning. There's loads of gorgeous colour here. There's loads of incredible um, different shapes and sizes. You're going to be getting loads of added extras in these kits as well. One of the kits has got beautiful um, kind of rose gold coloured mesh beads as well. Ah, here we go. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Look at this one here. Beautiful colours. You're going to be getting fancy bloodstone in this one, which is the kind of pinky, um, the pinky creamy strand going through the centre there. And it comes with those gorgeous, gorgeous rose gold coloured mesh beads as well. You'll love the designs that Debbie has created um, using that gorgeous kit. 
And um, in each one of the kits, um, uh, we're going to be seeing um, some designs which Debbie has created using um, the genuine gemstones and all the added extras and polymer clay as well. You've had a busy week, haven't you? A very busy week, <clears> yes, but thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes, I kept sitting on the settee saying, I can't do that, I've got it in the clay. Sorry, can't do that, I've got it in the clay. Brilliant. That, that's like me sitting at home saying, um, I can't do that, I've got to eat some more chocolate. I mean, I don't think yes. it's, it, it really isn't, it really isn't a, uh, a task or a chore. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> right, so we're going to be catching up with Debbie in a bit. Do you want to see a Ready Bird special? Gorgeous, incredible, beautiful fluorite here. This incredible genuine gemstone is one of the most unusual gems in the gem world. What you're looking at here is a genuine gemstone which actually gets its name from um, fluorescence. From what? Colgate, what are you on about? What's he on about? Fluorite. Fluorite, as in fluorescence. This incredible gemstone has a really incredible optical property called fluorescence. So when you get this near ultraviolet light um, or you get it near um, uh, fluorescent light, you will see this incredible genuine gemstone glow. As fluorite normally comes in, in, in purples and blues and greens, to be able to get this incredible strand in this gorgeous, gorgeous, crisp, crisp green with that incredible clarity, is incredibly difficult. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, it actually looks like quite a bright green genuine gemstone, but you'd be surprised, actually, when you do get this off the temporary strand and you start to spread the gemstones out, maybe through uh, mixing it in with other strands, maybe with some amethyst or maybe with some gorgeous, um, or, or maybe with some aragonite, you will see those colours become really, really nice and blush. It's like a silvery green genuine gemstone. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, it is a brand new strand today. With our early bird specials, we always want to bring you something which will make you not just want to come in and get one of these, but three or four or five of these. It's a free phone number. It's a free phone number from a BT landline. You can give us a call on 0800 644 655 or you can get involved by uh, visiting our website, which of course is jewelrymaker.com and just copy and paste that code into the website. Now, we always want to give you something brand new for the early bird special and we want to give you a really, really fantastic price for a gemstone as unusual as fluorite, a genuine gemstone which has not only a great clarity but that incredible optical property as well. So if you, so when you do get this outside on a really, really bright sunny day, which is effectively UV light, a weakened, oh, 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 a weakened um, um, strain of uh, UV light, you will see this incredible gemstone glow. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a brand, brand, brand new strand for you today. Already 40 of these have been allocated, which is absolutely brilliant to see. Give us a call, get involved when you can. Your deal today is just £7.95p. If you're looking for a gemstone to really make um, a, a project or a kit more summer-like, more spring-like, or you're just looking to kind of freshen up a design which maybe you've been working with or, or been wearing for the last few months, then absolutely use this incredible strand. Beautiful, gorgeous green fluorite here. It's got, it's got that wonderful marriage of clarity and colour as well. It really is just beautiful. And for less than eight pounds, an absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing price as well. Well done to you. Now, don't forget, it's only one lot of P&P per order of just two pounds and 95, which is absolutely brilliant. Are the graphics actually right? Does it say 295 P&P? Because <clears throat> our graphics last night said four ninety five. I've, no, I've no idea why, but it's only two ninety five p and p per order, and you're going to be getting a thirty day money back guarantee. And do you know something? When you get a gorgeous, gorgeous strand like this home, feel the quality you're going to be getting here. These are eight millimeter plain rounds, so perfect uh, for necklaces, for bracelets, for pendants. You really have got um, such a fantastic strand here, and for less than eight pounds, what an amazing price as well. It's a gorgeous gemstone, and it goes so well with other gems. It goes so well with some of the other bundles and. Um, and and gems we're going to be bringing today, including uh, some Rose de France Amethyst, are, um, oh, actually, it goes really well with Debbie's Challenge, doesn't it? With the rondelles. Yeah. And, and with some gorgeous, actually, let me show it to you next, to some massive blue arrogant, which I know Debbie has got her, Debbie's got her eyes on this today. Scott thinks you're a bit obsessed with this brand. Mm, I love it. It is absolutely Sorry, amazing, isn't it? Might it might disappear. Yes, very nice. <clears throat> It is absolutely gorgeous and it goes so beautifully with, with the green fluorite. But then, if you wanted to put this with something maybe a little bit more feminine in colour, gorgeous. So you really do have, you really do have the versatility in this brand to put it with so many different colours. Oh, look at that with the red, absolutely gorgeous. Now, there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines at the minute. Do be patient, we'll answer your call as soon as we can. Um, what a great strand, what a great, great, great price. What a great way to start the show. I think that's amazing. Now, we do have... 
a bit of a, a, a special challenge for Debbie today, including um, a strand pack of rondelles. One, two, three, four strand pack of rondelles and aragonite as well. And you're also going to be getting um, a silver plated uh, copper wire as well. Um, are we going to do that now? Do you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Where should we start, Scott? Should we start with the aragonite before Debbie runs off with it? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I was talking about this gemstone last night. It's a really, really, really unusual gemstone. I absolutely love it. And I couldn't work out what it was that was that was different about it. Um, I'd seen it on Jewelry Maker. Um, first, first of all, I think Lucy bought it to you first of all. And then a couple of days later, I happened to be presenting the day show. And I was holding a strand of it. I thought, oh, this feels different. It feels, it feels different to other gemstone strands. Normally, when you pick up a strand of gemstones, it feels very, very cold because um, um, it's um, a, a, a conductor of heat. But then when I held this gemstone strand, when I, when I, when I felt aragonite, it felt a little bit warmer. It felt almost like um, amber or uh, jet. And it's because... There are the same kind of um, elements and minerals in aragonite that you get in abalone. So almost like an organic and inorganic gemstone. It's really, really, really unusual. You get these incredible stripes running through um, um, aragonite. It is a dyed gemstone. Normally it's kind of a, it's kind of a stony colour. So we've dyed it this gorgeous, gorgeous blue colour. So you get this wonderful quality um, running all the way through this. In fact, we've got some natural aragonite coming up a little bit later on in the show. Um, this strand though, a thousand carats of blue aragonite here. A thousand carats. It's a huge, huge, huge carat weight you're going to be getting here. These are massive 18 by 13 millimeter gemstones here. Now, I'm already thinking about what this would go with that we're going to be bringing you today. Um, we've, got, we've got a kit coming up a little bit later on with uh, rose gold colored mesh beads. I think it would go beautifully with that. Um, it would go so, so, so beautifully with some of the um, polymer clay designs which Debbie has created as well. Now, this is the first part of, uh, day, of, of, um, of the challenge today which we're going to set for Debbie. A thousand carats of blue aragonite. Can you imagine how far this is going to go? Can you imagine the statement pieces you're going to be able to create with this incredible strand? 11 pounds and 45p that is it what an amazing price it's absolutely incredible when you see the kind of quality you're going to be getting in each one of these and you note that every single one of these gemstones is different some of these are going to be more cornflower blue some of them are going to be more sky blue some of them are going to have more stripes some are going to have more kind of zones of color look at that they're absolutely amazing every single one of these is entirely different is that what is that what you love about this strand debbie yeah i like the fact that you've got completely different colors i mean i would put some with bronzite and some with labradorite it would look absolutely stunning yeah um so you can either go down the labradorite sort of hematite route or the bronzite and um pyrite you're going to go the browns or the greys yeah. i think and it would go with anything. I think oh, it's beautiful, or even white. It would go with white gems. It's absolutely stunning. It's a lovely blue, isn't it? It, it, it is. It, it's quite yeah. a, It's not too. It, it's almost like a seaside yes, blue. Yes, I know what you mean. I do. It's like a like a summer sky. It's, it's yeah. beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. But then again, do you know what? I think depending on which gemstone you actually set this with, it could be transseasonal, if you like. You could actually wear yeah. this. Um, in the winter time, it would be a gorgeous kind of um, snow queen if kind of. If you had of... to cut that in half and separate it, you'd have two completely different colours, wouldn't you? You'd have if you was to cut that strand in half now, yeah. you'd have all the blues down one side, mm -hmm. and somebody's obviously graded that, which is great. And then you've got the greys, so you can almost see summer, winter. Yeah, I think you can you're right. use it all year round because yeah. it's got every season in it. Yes, you know? yes, you're right. You've got you've got these really really almost 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 like a blue lace agate kind of colour there. And then right through to these really, really, really kind of um, dark blues, almost kind of like a, a grey blue. It, it really is the most gorgeous, gorgeous strands. Judging by the amount of people on the phone lines as well, you clearly love this strand as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So a thousand carats of your gorgeous blue aragonite there. So that's your first part of your challenge, Debbie. Um, how about something brand new, a brand new bundle? Brand new bundle as part of your challenge, Debbie. Are you excited? Yeah, I love every one of those. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they're called the Rondells. Now, I was trying to think. Um, the Rondells were a Phil Spector uh, group, and I'm trying to think of a song that the Rondells actually sang, but I can't. Debbie? No, I can't either. Have we got you on, uh, have we got you on a search engine, Ryan? <laughs> oh, he's already there. He's already there. He's on there already. 
Ryan's having a little type into the internet. Whilst he's doing that, I'll tell you about this uh, gorgeous bundle. So, how about some gorgeous... Now, now, is this black agate or black onyx? Black onyx. Black onyx frosted faceted rondelles. I love that, yes, the rondelles. Fantastic. Um, so, you're going to be getting frosted faceted rondelles of black onyx here. Black onyx is the most amazing gemstone. It is unbelievably versatile. And when you have a frosted strand of black onyx, you get not only the um, not only the kind of glamour of black onyx, but I think it's quite a contemporary strand actually. I think it's I think it is quite contemporary because it is frosted. I don't know what it is about the kind of yeah. frosting, but it is quite it is quite. I know exactly what you mean. I've, I've ordered half a dozen of those because they are my favourite mm. uh, black onyx. I think. I've, I've, I've always teamed that with um, hematite or, oh. or, um, or pyrite. And you can go across from male jewellery to female jewellery there. Absolutely, yeah. And I use it a lot with the clay, with the foils, because mm. it just, it's just a good backdrop for it. Of course, because the fours are quite metallic, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that really are. would be a fantastic marriage. You've got wonderful, wonderful uh, versatility with the strands here. And you're also going to be getting amethyst. Now, these are actually slightly smaller. This really gives you such a fantastic idea of the range of colour you can get in amethyst. Look at that, isn't that incredible? You, oh my goodness me, I tell you what, Mark, one of our guest designers, he, he, he'd had a lot of fun um, um, colour grading these, wouldn't he? He would, wouldn't he? He loves separating all the colours out, doesn't <laughs> he? he? Does, it, he it, does. is, it is the most gorgeous strand you're going to be getting here. Everything from your um, uh, kind of Rose de France amethyst colours, and we'll be showing you some really fantastic Rose de France um, amethyst a little bit later on in the show, right through to those black Brie and black currant colours. That's a really, really gorgeous strand. Now, the uh, size of these amethyst um, uh, rondelles, they are 8 by 4 millimetres. The black onyx are 10 by 5 millimetres, 180 carats in this strand here and 300 carats here. Now, smoky quartz, these again are larger than the amethyst, so the same size as the black onyx, smoky quartz. What a gorgeous strand this is. I absolutely adore smoky quartz. You get a richness and a lightness, you get a brilliance and a luster. There is nothing there is nothing to not like about smoky quartz. It's absolutely no. wonderful, isn't it? No. We said this last night, didn't we? That it doesn't mm. come over on the TV. Sometimes it comes over as just brown. Mm. And it's not just brown. It's mm. chestnuts and cinnamon colours. Oh. And when you get it in the daylight, it seems to take on what it's with as well. It's beautiful. It is It is wonderful. Mm. Easily one of the most glamorous gemstones. And if you're looking for a gemstone to maybe contrast against um, maybe something like rose quartz or even white quartz, but you don't want that much of a stark contrast. Smoky quartz is a really, really good gemstone to go to, um, go for because it's a really, really warm colour you're going to be getting here. We've also got carnelian um, um, rondelles here. Again, these are, um, are faceted. Again, they're rondelles. And again, they're 10 by 5 millimetres. 310 carats in total. And again, look at the range of colour you get in between these two gemstones here. And, and that will go all the way through the strands. Now, these are four strands of faceted rondelles. Working with gemstones that are rondelle shapes, I think, I mean, they feel wonderful. They look wonderful. They must be wonderful to work with as a designer. I, I, I just want all of that, actually. I think it's just stunning. I think all the colours, they sort of cross over each other. Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily use them all together, but mm -hmm. you would cross them over. And I, I, they're just wonderful. They're really nice. Yeah, they are gorgeous. Mm. Because because there's a lot of fascinating that goes into these, um, I hope you can appreciate that, you know, working with gemstones like this and creating this kind of shape is very, very, very time consuming indeed. So it's going to be a little bit more considered. Now, the the normal price for this, if we were to price these all up separately, if you bought these individually, how much would it be, Scott? Forty nine ninety five. Do you know what? For four strands, for four strands of top quality carnelian, amethyst, smoky quartz, and onyx, which have all been painstakingly faceted into rondelles, I think that's actually pretty amazing. But the price for you today, and we don't have many of these available, is $29.95. That really is an absolutely amazing deal, isn't it? That's that's under £30. That's that's amazing, isn't it? I bought I had a catalogue arrive on my doorstep on Friday. Um, the jewellery company and handbag company and what have you, and they have got the carnelian rondelles exactly the same as that, just with a little silver ball in between. Sterling silver, I have to say. Yeah. For £89. <sighs> Just, just a simple strand necklace, Goodness choker me. necklace with a silver bolt ring clasp, and that's it. But do you know what? Even at eighty-nine pounds, it's genuine gemstones. Mm. You, know, you could almost stunning. justify. Can't I looked at it in the catalogue and thought, God, that's beautiful. But because it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it is. is gorgeous. I think we get a bit blasé about it and seeing them every day, but they're, they're beautiful. 
They're beautiful, they really are. And we're getting, and, and you're going to be getting four strands for less than thirty pounds. Granted, it doesn't have sterling silver, but you're going to be getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carrots. It's three, six, seven, eight. It's over a thousand carrots of genuine gemstones here for under thirty pounds. Absolutely wonderful. Um, so well done to every single one of you who got involved there. Um, Ryan, did you have any updates? The Rondells, what did they sing? Uh, he's out of sight. Who? He's out of sight. He's out of sight. Revenge. Revenge. No, the, the twist. Who? The, no, the twist. The twist. The twist. Did they do the twist? Did they? No. I don't know. I haven't heard of any of those. I'm sure I would if we heard them, but obviously we can't play them because we'll probably get into trouble, but you know. <laughs> I've got on my break and I might sing for you later on tonight, hey? That's something to tune back in for, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look forward to that. I know you will. I know you will. Uh, why are you laughing, Debbie? I don't know why you're laughing. Uh, how about some wire? We've got some wire as well in your challenge, Debbie. Um, uh, that was a very high voice, Scott. Yeah! <laughs> it's not exciting. It is exciting! Um, 100 metres of your 0 0.40 millimetre gauge silver. Now, this is silver-coloured copper wire, is it? It's not silver-plated copper wire. I think, I think it's silver-coloured. I'm sure we'll get the details in just a second. Um, absolutely fantastic. If there is a one... If there is... It, it is silver-coloured, yeah. 100 metres of silver-coloured copper wire, 0.4 millimetres in, uh, in gauge. Wire is one of those things that us here at Jewelry Maker, we have to order again and again and again and again and again and again and again. It's unbelievably popular. I think it's because we've, so many of our guest designers are so passionate about, um, are passionate about wire work, using different gauges of wire for different, um, uh, for different techniques, for different types of jewelry. And I think that you have really, really enjoy working with wire as well. So we have to order wire week in, week out, week in, week out. So it's gonna be great to see how Debbie uses in her challenge today. Um, 100 metres in total. Would you like to see a price? These are already starting to go. Um, we've got this back in stock. It's 9.95. Absolutely fantastic. If you think how far 100 metres of this wire will go, absolutely wonderful. Debbie, have you got some ideas for this 0.4 millimetre wire? Um, no, not at the moment. Ooh, I like <laughs> I will this. Will have though. Being absolutely honest, um, I shall have a play. Yeah. I tend to cut sort of half a metre of, of wire or something and have a play with it and then think, well, that's going to be thrown away and I shall then know what I want to do so I don't waste the whole lot. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So I shall have a play. What's that? the 0.4 millimetre wire is, is, is. Very fine. It is going to be fine. We do have one that's finer, which is 0.25. Yeah. So the 0.4, I assume, is going to be better for. Um, Maybe detailed work over um, over pendants. Maybe if you do want a bit you of wire work do, over pendants. You can do, but it's still the same sort of gauge that you can crochet knit with, or mm -hmm. perhaps you need a, a stronger wire to do a cage, and you can use that as, as, as doing the webbing across it. Do you know oh, what I mean by nice that? Idea. Yes, um, absolutely. I don't think there's any thicker wire down there, but I'll see. But it is very very useful. It is useful. And you know what? I think added to these gemstones, added to these rondelles. I mean, it was you who actually said the rondelles would, well, the smoky quartz in particular would go really well with the aragonite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do like it. It's a fantastic like challenge, it. isn't it? Mm. I'm really loving the look of this. I can't wait to see what you create today. They're all so different, but they all sort of mingle. Like they do, don't they? Brilliant. With, with, the, with the silver coloured wire, I can see that with any of those strands, actually. Yeah. It'd be really interesting to see it with the, with the red agate, because, oh, no, sorry, with the carnelian, because. That, that's a very different colour, isn't it? You've got red and silver. You'd normally put red with um, red with gold, wouldn't you? Yeah, or red with or browns. Yes, bronze is nice though. Yeah, absolutely Lovely. gorgeous. What a fantastic challenge. Um, with, with gemstones as big as this, I mean, if, if, if you were simply to re-strand this and make it into a necklace, it would be a very, very gem-heavy necklace. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I was going to say, what, no. what, what suggestions have you got with a strand well, like this? Well, you know me and tassels. I mean, you, you could, how many necklaces could you make with one little bead and a tassel? You know, you could, how many on there? I don't know. It must be at least 20, 25. Do you know what? You're exactly right, because, because gemstones like this, they are going to be very heavy. Mm. And, and because you get so much impact in just one of these, think how much impact just one gemstone is going to have. Mm. <clears throat> And if you were just to use one, you're going to get just as big an impact as if you were to use two or three. So you may as well just use one, save yourself the rest of the gemstones, and like you've already said, Debbie, maybe make them into a 
um, maybe use it as, as the bottom of a necklace and have tassels yeah. coming off the bottom of it. Or if it will take cord, you could do something like a corded bracelet just with one single stone. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, which are really popular, especially for the seaside. There's a sort of yeah. you know, beach look sort of look. They're amazing, um, aren't they, those gems? But the, you know, the mesh beads, you put the mesh beads in between. Oh, gorgeous. See, because I, I think because this is a fairly warm blue you're going to be getting here, with, with rose gold findings, they'd look oh, absolutely look gorgeous, stunning. wouldn't they? Yeah, really nice. That's a really, really gorgeous yeah. challenge. Absolutely awesome. So, Scott, what are, what are we going to do first of all today? Because we've got loads and loads and loads to get through. Are we going to do some Wall of Fame in a second? We're going to do some Wall of Fame, Debbie. We've Lovely. got we've got three brand new kits. We've got loads and loads of polymer clay. We've got loads of brand new bundles. A jam-packed soap. Yes. Should we do some Wall of Fame? Okay. We're going to do some Wall of Fame in a second, <laughs> which is a, a chance for you to send in all of your entries. It's drawn every Wednesday, is it? It's drawn every Wednesday? Drawn every Wednesday, and we're going to read some of them out now. Don't go anywhere. This is number uh, 381. Somebody has been extremely busy. That is superb. This is from Vicky. Uh, this is the photo show of my first ever sale. Well, you've done extremely well. Yeah. I had brilliant feedback from customers on the day went so fast, I couldn't wait to do another one. I dragged my mum along for a little while too. I'd like to say how amazing she is and how much I love her. Aww. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, I only buy my gemstones findings and thread from jewellery maker and, um, well, my mother-in-law does. She says, <laughs> oh, well, you've got a nice mother-in-law, she buys them for you. <laughs> uh, keep brightening my days from Vicky. That's lovely. That is amazing. A table full of jewellery I love the the way you displayed it. It looked really good. Yeah. Well yeah, that is fantastic. Very nice. Oh, thank you so much for that email. Um, I love the fact you gave a shout out as well. That's really yeah. nice. I've got number 383 here. This, this looks like your I kind of necklace, that. Debbie. Yes. Mm. This is from uh, <laughs> this is from Linda in Crew. Hi all. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I hope you like it. Made with shell coins, hematite rice beads, and hearts and cracked quartz, all from Jewelry Maker. I made it to go uh, with a with a new little black dress that I bought for me. Uh, this is from Linda and Crew. That that is absolutely gorgeous. I love the use of chain there. I think I think the amount of chain you get in the brand new kits is just it makes, it makes a it makes huge so difference. It's really opened a lot of doors for a lot oh. of uh, jewellery designers, you know, the kind of long necklaces that they can now Absolutely. make. Absolutely. That's gorgeous. Really You're number nice. 383, Linda. This is uh, number 380. I do love this. Mm. Uh, this is from Katie in Durham. Um, please find this touch my first entry for the Wall of Fame. My mum and I love the show and try and watch every day. I have only made two of the pieces of jewellery, but tried this cluster ring after watching Laura Binding's DVD. I made it for my mum because she's been very poorly recently. Oh, sorry about that. Um, all of JM, uh, all, all gems from JM, I have realised that my passion is wire working and would love to win the draw so I can buy loads more lovely wire and gems. <laughs> Hope it's good enough for the Wall of Fame from Katie in Durham. That's beautiful, Katie. Gorgeous colours. Really lovely. Yeah, really, well really lovely. Nice big piece there. Uh, now, number 382. Ooh, this is absolutely I'd awesome say. using Druzy. Mm. Now, this is from Jill Thompson. Hi, all. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I'm going to a birthday party this weekend and wanted to make my jewellery a little different. It's definitely that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the druzy. Um, I've made it with a rectangle of druzy, zebra jasper nuggets and a fancy shaped and fancy shaped hematite. All of the jewellery was made using gems I bought from yourselves. I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with your new format for the evening show. It's great to see designers having a slot. I'm away uh, to go on holiday, so we'll hopefully make a lot of jewellery uh, when not on the boat fishing. Oh, heaven. Um, keep up the good work. Take care, Jill Thompson. That's absolutely gorgeous, and it's so lovely to see Druzy used like that. It's absolutely wonderful. That's gorgeous. Thank you very really much for nice. that, Jill. Like now, we've got the, our first brand new kit coming up in a second, haven't we? We've got our first brand new kit coming up. Um, prepare yourself for some gorgeous, gorgeous colours, some amazing carrot weights with some beautiful polymer clay. We've got Aragonite, Amazonite, Black Agate and Hematite. I keep thinking about Lord of the Rings. Um, and that's <laughs> going to be coming your way in just a couple of seconds. It's called In the Summertime. We haven't really got much summertime now, have we? No, Don't definitely. go anywhere. New kit coming up in just a second. Join Jewelry Maker on Monday the 16th of July for our advanced beading show with guest designer Cherry Green. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker.
Add to your collection with our Beading Basics DVD, which introduces you to some simple but effective beading techniques. Join some familiar faces as you follow our guest designers through their easy step-by-step -step tutorials. You'll be shown techniques such as the woven leaf pendant, the three-strand weave, and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Do you make jewellery as a hobby? Would you like to learn key skills to help you successfully market and sell your handmade jewellery? We are working with Angela Edwards, who is an experienced jewellery maker as well as a small business trainer, to bring you the perfect course to help develop basic business skills. The full course includes how to create a business plan to successfully sell your products, how to access current and potential customers, how to identify and profile your target market, how to generate leads to secure current and future sales, how to use online social networking to your advantage, and key knowledge on legal requirements and insurances. For information about dates and to reserve your place, please contact 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Scott's just shown me two brand new strands that we've got coming up a little bit later on today. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got two brand new strands. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous. Just showing them to Debbie as well. They're, they're amazing. These are, these are going to be coming up a little bit later on. Um, oh, Debbie, you're right. <laughs> whenever, when it, see, whenever, it's whenever I'm on air that my guest designers. <laughs> tend to wreck the studio. We had Cherry knocking the front off the desk. We had Mark with his gemstone incident. <laughs> we won't talk about that. And, uh, and Debbie's throwing things around the Sorry. studio as well. Sorry. Sorry. Calm down over there, please. <laughs> it's because we've got two brand new strands. These are absolutely gorgeous. Now, there's um, a rose quartz strand and there's a peridot strand. We're going to be bringing both of these to you a little bit later on. They're absolutely... The quality is incredible. Um, they're going to be coming your way a little bit later on. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? absolutely beautiful the clarity is just incredible with both of these strands you're getting gem quality um, um, strands here they're absolutely beautiful loving the look of these and what did you say they'd be good for uh, Debbie uh, anyone who's does um, bead weaving or proper bead beaded jewelry mm. for the uh, peyote stitch which is like a square stitch it'd be stunning to do a bracelet in that yeah Absolutely gorgeous. They're mini cubes, they're absolutely stunning. So these are going to be coming your way a little bit later on in the show. Gorgeous. And I know how long you've been waiting for brand new strands of Peridot. In actual fact, I've got Peridot coming up a little bit later on uh, in 925 Stunning Silver Chain, which you're going to love. But first of all, how about a brand new kit? All these brand new things today, this is amazing. It's amazing. Gorgeous brand new kits here. Now this one's called In the Summertime. Okay, so maybe it was named uh, when, when a little bit earlier in the year when we had a bit of sunshine or maybe that one week at the end of May when it was absolutely scorching it was about 27 degrees wasn't it it was beautiful yeah do you remember that all those memories like the colors of my mind drifting watercolor memories of the way we were can it be right I won't do that fine <laughs> right but it was sunny for a week, wasn't it? It'll be one of those years where we have a really hot September. Who cares? Who cares? So, 
In the summertime, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kits here. You've got three fantastic strands here. For Oh, goodness me, I've just noticed the hematite. Right, so you've got a strand of aragonite here. Now, I've just shown you blue aragonite, a thousand carats of blue aragonite, and you've seen how many wonderful mineral inclusions you get in, in, in aragonite. Here it is in like a banana-y, lemony colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is like a... A rectangular shape but it's kind of it's got rounded tops on it I'll, I'll show you the profile so you can kind of see the cross section of it so you can kind of see the shape of it really really beautiful this is going to lend itself beautifully to maybe necklaces or bracelets because it's going to sit against your decolletage your wrist really 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 well maybe a nice tassel it's really really gorgeous beautiful beautiful size and shapes um, on this strand of aragonite a really a really unusual strand of beads actually because you wouldn't normally I wouldn't normally put a, a, associate aragonite with with um, rectangular gemstones but you know what? I think it works absolutely beautifully no how you're going to be getting not only these wonderful stripes but you're going to be getting different areas where where the gemstone becomes more opaque or it becomes more translucent it's it's just a gorgeous gorgeous uh, genuine gemstone I love it now we've got another strand here. This is Amazonite. This is natural Amazonite in its most um, colourful form. We had some Amazonite last night on The Late Show and it was a strand of Amazonite which was very, very, um, very, very green. And it just had that one colour going all the way through the strand. This shows you the full, the full range of colour you have in Amazonite. It's absolutely amazing. Everything from whites to kind of aqua blues to reds. Can you see that? It's absolutely amazing. This amazing gemstone is, is a fairly new gemstone to Jewelry Maker, actually. We've only had it for the last, um, I'd say the last eight, maybe the last 12 weeks. Um, it, it, it has been unbelievably popular in rondelles, absolutely gorgeous. Maybe to go with the Aragonite in uh, Debbie's challenge, maybe even to go with the rondelles, which, um, which we've also given Debbie in her challenge as well. You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous strand of um, Amazonite. Now, this is the hematite. Now, when I first saw the hematite, I thought, oh, wonderful. You're going to be getting these kind of long rectangular shapes of, of, of hematite. And it wasn't until I went like this that I saw the hematite is actually it's double drilled. This is wonderful. Now, hematite is a wonderful gem. Um, if you're looking for a gemstone to make a a design really, really uh, glamorous or, or really, really contemporary, or maybe um, going for the kind of industrial chic kind of uh, kind of look, then hematite is absolutely amazing. The fact that it's double drilled, um, it, it just lends itself to so many more pieces of uh, jewellery. It's also a gemstone which looks great, not, not just with um, pieces of jewellery for ladies, but for guys as well. It's absolutely brilliant. If you saw Tina yesterday, who's one of our um, guest designers, if you saw Tina yesterday who made um, um, pieces of jewellery just for guys. It was absolutely wonderful, some of the designs that she made. Now, you're also going to be getting more gemstones here. These are beautiful. And the way Debbie's actually used these is, is, is just fantastic. These are little buttons, I want to call them, of grey agate. You're going to be getting one, two, three, four, five of these grey agate buttons. The way, the way Debbie's used them is absolutely beautiful. These are just gorgeous. You can use them as uh, gemstone links. You can actually use them as physical buttons if you want. They'd look great on a brooch, maybe great on a hair slide, maybe great on a fascinator. Um, and it's just, it's just giving you something a little bit different in this kit. And with all these brand new kits that we're bringing you, and we've started to bring you over the last eight weeks or so, we want to be able to include something in every kit that kind of maybe challenges you a little bit and, and maybe um, helps you start thinking outside the box. Now, with these brand new kits, we offer you loads and loads and loads of findings. In this particular kit, we're offering you yellow gold plated copper findings. You're going to be getting 100 pieces of yellow gold plated um, copper findings in here. Loads and loads and loads. And the quality of these, the, the amount of findings that you're going to be getting is absolutely superb. Everything from eye pins to head pins to crimp beads to jump rings to... Um, beads to that meter of chain to earring chandeliers to heart toggle clasps to the round toggle clasps um, which is absolutely incredible and you've got in fact if I just get the toggle clasp I love the toggle clasps I think they're great these are just wonderful these toggle clasps are just gorgeous look at these absolutely wonderful it is like the melted heart the Elsa Peretti melted heart it, it, it's absolutely gorgeous isn't it this is just one of the uh, toggle class you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting another. Yeah, you're going to be getting a round toggle class as well. So, 
You've got your three strands there. You've got a hundred findings. You've also got your five grey agate buttons. Now, looking at a kit like this, you've got two gemstone strands of, of, of gemstones, which are really, really very, very new to jewelry making. You've got the aragonite, and of course, you've got the amazonite as well. You've got the hematite double drilled rectangles, which is a really, really great addition to the kit. And you've got the buttons as well. This is a brand new kit today that is only going to be available until uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then it won't be available, okay? So if the kit sells out before then, then obviously it won't be available, but this kit is only available until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then and then the kit will be broken back down, um, and unfortunately it won't, it won't exist anymore. And this is just a way of us bringing you loads and loads of brand new kits, loads of brand new bundles, and keeping it really, really fresh, so hopefully you won't see the same bundle or the same kit twice. Now, if you were to buy all of this separately, including all the findings and the gemstones, you'd be looking to pay almost 45 pounds on our website, okay? Which really, when you think about the physical amount of gemstones you're gonna be getting, and going by what um, Debbie had said yesterday about receiving that catalog through the post from a, from a jewelry uh, uh, gemstone company, and it, it, you know, looking at their prices, maybe for different gemstones, but, but, but kind of looking at the rough ballpark figure, that actually is still fantastic. But today, this entire kit, this entire kit is yours for under 22 pounds that is amazing that's absolutely wonderful what a gorgeous kit what an amazing 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 price you're going to be getting so many strands so many beautiful different qualities here and it's all yours today for less than 22 pounds i love the findings in these in, in these brand new kits i think they're absolutely wonderful and the gemstones go beautifully together sometimes when you look at a kit um you can sometimes think oh that's a daytime kit or oh, that's an evening kit and that's a fact i think you've got the best of both worlds here i think you've got the the darkness from the hematite and the gray agate to make this into a gorgeous evening kit uh, but you've also got the lightness from the aragonite and the amazonite to make this into a daytime kit it really does lend itself beautifully to um to to loads and loads and loads of different um, occasions that i can think of any everything from weddings um to black tie do's it really is gorgeous. Less than 22 pounds as well. It's a brand new kit, don't forget. Only available until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, we have given this kit to our tame racing driver. Yes, it is uh, Debbie Balford. It's a gorgeous kit, isn't it, Debbie? It's lovely. I opened it and actually thought, I don't really want to put clay with this because I just love it as it is. You know, I just think it's just stunning. For you to say you didn't, you, know. were, you were thinking not to put clay with it? Yeah. Goodness me. I just think it's stunning as it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. It's really unusual, actually, to see hematite mixed with such light gemstones. Oh, I think they're beautiful. I think it's a lovely combination. I think perhaps if, if I had a... I was given um, a pack of clay Ow. to work with, um, which didn't have the turquoises in. So I had to mix the turquoises, because I, I thought, I'm not going to use the turquoise I've got in my ah. stem. I've got to mix it. If I had the turquoises, I would have felt fine. Yes. You know I, mean? I thought, no, this is a real challenge, and it was a challenge, and I did it. Um, and I mixed all the turquoises just with white and a bit of the um, wasabi and the uh, blue pearl. Mm -hmm. And I eventually got it down to the same colour turquoise, but it took some time. But it just shows you, you can mix the colours and get whatever colour you want. This is amazing. Those were scrap clay actually left from the, you've the beads. Matched, you've matched the colour of the clay with the colour of the Amazonite. Yeah. Which and is, the, is an incredibly well. difficult thing to do. Yeah, it took me quite a while. And to get the, the colour of um, the banana sort of colour. These yes. These little spaces here. The, the, oh, the goodness clay. me, yes. And then I thought, well, what other colour can I put in there? I, I thought, well, purples go with the turquoises, which is why I picked the purple. So Absolutely. I mixed the black with the purple. So I'm, the only thing I've used, other than this clay, is black and white clay, which you get in the starter kit anyway. That is just um, wonderful. I. I love the way you've used the hematite here, Debbie, because it is double drill, which, which just I opens know. up the doors. I could have done lots doors, and lots of different designs of the double drill, but I just think I, I didn't do anything too fancy. But mm -hmm. here, I just used the one. I mean, you could have, like we said last night on the Lake Show, you, I could have put something else through and had mm. something dangling through the bottom hole of these because I've only gone through the top hole. Mm -hmm. But I think they're stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I love and that. It, and uh, Ollie just says something, um, um, it, it goes so well with the yellow gold. It really it does. does, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does. It does indeed, yes. Isn't that beautiful. gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. And you're really making a, you really notice the findings uh, when do. they're set with the hematite, don't you? You really, oh, you really do. notice yes. it. You, you've Silver made really, would have been lost, actually. It, yes, I think it probably mm. would have been. That's just gorgeous. These gemstones are so wonderful to work with. And in this bracelet here, ah, oh, you've used the, ah, oh, this is how you've used the buttons. Oh, my goodness me. That's gorgeous. Look how Debbie's used the buttons here. They are awesome. 
So these beautiful grey agate buttons here, you haven't used them this way round, you've actually used them the spaces, that way round. That's right, it's like two uh, connectors almost. Yes! They're, they're absolutely gorgeous and, the, and, there's, and there's polymer clay. L look at this, look how beautifully the colours have matched. Isn't that incredible? They really go so beautifully with the they yellow do. gold and um, plated findings, don't they? They're just gorgeous. And you've used some of the head pins in there. You've made little spacer beads out of the head pins. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. But you've actually used the um, the grey agate how I thought you might use it as a as a gemstone link. Yeah, here. I just had one left and a bit of chain left, and I thought, oh, what on earth can I do with it? And actually, I got I like that. Yeah, <laughs> the bracelet. Yeah. I think that's quite quite pretty. And again, you wouldn't necessarily think about putting it with the yellow gold plate no, to find you think no, about you putting wouldn't. it with silver. No. But you get a richness, obviously, you with do. it oh, by using lovely. that. And because you get so much chain, look at this. I know. And I had some left over as well. Did you? Yes, I did. It's just, this is fantastic. Mm. Having having so much chain in these brand new kits, it's, I mean, the, the, the difference in the Wall of Fame entries, such as uh, there's one here using all the, the chain, one, had earlier one down there. there. The earlier one um, on there from Jill, and um, just just using all the chain, it just it, having the chain in the kits, it's it's allowing you to make these big long necklaces, these really really big chunky designs. That's so catwalky. That's so um, yeah, it's got that kind of um, kind of designer feel about it. Well, there's one or two different colours of these, aren't there, on the website? And that would look yes, quite nice right, having, yeah. having different colours with the chains. Oh you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would be a lovely idea. Yeah, do have a look on our website as well if you can think of any of the gemstones or, or, or if you want to get some more of these um, gemstone connectors that you think uh, might go beautifully with the, with the gemstones here because you know what, the world is your oyster, it really, really is. Now, I know you wanted to show us a technique and it's actually a really different technique. Well, it's very simple. I have shown it before, but um, it's really, really simple just to do the little tag on the bottom of here, which, um, which is just a little heart. And that's also on this bracelet as well. I've done a leaf Ooh. and a heart there. Just done a leaf and a heart on the front. There you are, I'll move that over And it's just a Daisy. different way of using the head pins, really. Well, because you get 100 findings, you may as well... Oh, that is just gorgeous. Look at that. A little leaf and a little heart. Little details like that can really make a difference, can't they? Yeah, I mean, if somebody's got a design that's, that's their logo, mm. see if you can do it in a head pin and use yeah. it on the back of your necklaces and, and what have you. It just becomes your tag, which is nice to make it personal to mm. you. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think so. So so how do you go about making these um, right. little charms then? Okay, uh, what I've done is I've just cut a tiny length of chain and I've attached that to a shepherd's hook, first of all. And for those of you who don't know how to open a shepherd's hook, never open it out like that. Always think of it as a door that you open it, okay, and close it. Open it and close it. Mm -hmm. Never open it outwards because you'll never get it round again, okay? So I'm going to put that down and then take my head pin. And you first start off with the heart by placing your round nose pliers about, can you see that? Just so three or four millimetres from the, from the ball end uh -huh. there. And I'm going to make a bend like that. And then opposite the, the ball, wherever the ball happens to be, opposite, grab your head pin and turn it. And that becomes the bottom of your heart. Oh. Okay. So there's half a heart. You see that? Yeah. Okay. And then hold your pliers at the opposite corner and bend that in. I'm going to just push that little ball head pin down. And bend oh, it up. So okay, you see that? Yeah. All right. That's and so then cute. a little turn at the top. Whoops. That's it. Hold on to the heart so it doesn't distort it. And there's your heart. I mean, how oh. quick and easy is that? Yeah. Get out of the way. And if you were to do that as a tag on your jewellery, I mean, you can do lots of things. I do leaves, I do little hands, I do all sorts of things. Because mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just so simple to do. If you've got one head pin left, mm. then why not use it and use it as a charm? Don't just think of it as just a thread through beads. It is a piece of you know, silver or gold at the end of the day. And yeah. it's, 
Why not? Why not? Why not? I think I think I think you're so right. And mm. and if you are one of our many jewelry makers who who makes pieces and then and then sells them on at craft fairs, if you're just going to be making a stretchy bracelet, so just imagine maybe the aragonite just on a stretchy, just, just on a piece of elastic, and then and then you add that little charm on. It's just going to add that little final flourish. It's just going to make just your jewelry stand. Just catches the light, doesn't it? Yeah. It just catches the light. It, it's just it's just wonderful. It, it's a really really lovely kit. This one. And I love the way you've used the clay as well. I just love the way you've introduced clay. I wouldn't have thought of incorporating purple. I wouldn't have thought of incorporating, um, um, introducing another colour. But no. it really works beautifully. I thought I've got think? to stick to what they've given me. <laughs> and because I didn't have the silver, I couldn't do the metallics. And I didn't have the browny sort of colours, tawny colours. So I thought, mm. well, what, I going, what I'm going to do, I can only do turquoise. But there's a lot of, oh, I didn't want to take away from the beauty of the, of the um, aragonite. Ar Aragonite, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just just thought it's just stunning. So I thought, right, something completely different. Yeah. With purple. Yeah, it is wonderful. Um, you clearly do like this kit. It, 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 it's under £22. Um, there are still some of these available if you want to give us a call on our free phone number 0800 644 655 or by getting involved on our website. Now, the polymer trying to see some demonstrations with the polymer clay and Debbie is going to be showing us some demonstrations a little bit later on it's going to be absolutely wonderful I'm going to have a go with the polymer clay I think I think we should all get involved it's just it's just it's in, a, a, an incredible incredible um, different way of, of 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 making your very own designs mixing your very own colors making your jewelry so so um, personal to you um, completely unique isn't it it is completely unique if you make it yourself and it's also lighter as well takes the weight off sometimes of, of the heavy gems yeah but um I think I think there are lots of people um, uh, uh, as well I've certainly read a few entries on our wall of fame from people who said I've been looking for something to wear um, I've been looking for jewelry to go with a top that I'm wearing to a wedding and I can't find anything that matches the color any suggestions polymer clay use yeah. you know because you can mix, you can mix your anything. very own color yeah you and you literally can get just by mixing it was just these two and Those white, two and, white. and white yep. You, you, you can get this colour Honestly, here. I honestly have a go. I just used a tiny pea size and just kept altering the, the colour until I got it to the, the turquoise. It's, it's just one of, in fact, I think we might be bringing you the black and white clay a little bit later on in the show. Ho hope, ho hopefully we'll be able to do that for you as well. Now, if you want some more details about polymer clay, we've got a polymer clay DVD. Um, 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 you can, you can uh, either get our DVD for for four pounds ninety five p. We've got, we've got, have we got we've one got or two? We've, we've got, got two. the basics, then we've got a projects one. Fantastic. Um, just add it to your order. Just speak to the um, uh, call centre I'll have help and we'll add that onto your order for you. In fact, we'll, I think we'll probably put the little clip on our next break as well. Do you fancy to do some more Wall of Fame? Why not? Some more Wall of Fame coming up now. <coughs> Pretty design. Isn't it lovely? Who's made that? That is from, this is number 384 from Amanda, Amanda J. Uh, this is week's Wall of Fame is made from JM Quartz resting on a lovely chunk of rock my husband picked up on the beach. Goodness, Isn't that gorgeous? gorgeous? It's almost like a gemstone. It's just, isn't it? Uh, keep up the madness. Liking guest designers on the evening show. Great for those of us who are working during the day. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm. Um, that's from Amanda. That's lovely. That is gorgeous. And that, that rock that it's resting on, that looks like it. I wonder what that is. <laughs> find that on a beach, gosh. Goodness me. That's Normally wonderful. find frisbees and old yeah. bottles on beaches. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, uh, I've got number 387 here. Gorgeous colours here. Absolutely beautiful. This is from Christy. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I've used red jasper cubes for a beady bead. Ooh. Cubes for a beady bead, gorgeous. Um, and then also obsidian rounds and jasper puffy squares for the rest of the necklace, earrings and bracelet. For the chain feature, I used, oh, I joined jump rings, gorgeous. I hope you like it, it's, uh, and I hope it makes the wall of fame. Of course it will, Chrissy, that's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very, very much for that. Gorgeous colours in there. Who's this from? This is number 385. Oh, tassels are all for me today. They are. Um, this is number 385, and this is from uh, Val. Uh, hi all at JM, love the show, have learnt so much by watching, the guest designers give so many tips and inspiration, thank you. The presenters and crew are great and seem to have so much fun. This is my entry for the Wall of Fame made with the bead boxes. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous, lovely. gorgeous monochrome like design that. there. I do like that, it's lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. I've got an, uh, an entry here from Angie. Angie, you're number 386 and in fact, 
and she's the would go so beautifully together. They would. Morning, all you lovely people. Of the, um, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's made from lava rock, white uh, jade hearts, and howlite. I made a bracelet to match and sold it with uh, within five minutes. Great gems, great people, great show, says uh, says Angie. Thank you so much, Angie. That's absolutely gorgeous. You are number 386. Best of luck to everyone. Best of luck to you all. Um, and I was just looking at the graphics on the screen there, Scott, because I was wondering what they were for. It's for the clay, isn't it? So it is for the clay pack here. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We were we were talking about the polymer clay, and we were talking about uh, mixing different colours together. It's amazing how far it will go. And in fact, with the demonstrations with Debbie a little bit later on, we'll see just how far it goes. In this project here, I suppose it's difficult to tell, isn't it? How much clay do you think you use? Um, not including the scrap clay that's inside the beads. Mm -hmm. um, probably, probably a pack of clay. That's incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for it all, I suppose. If if that actually. That's incredible. Yeah. Goodness me. And uh, th these are absolutely wonderful. And you get from the clay is absolutely wonderful. But we will be seeing the demonstration a bit later on uh, with Debbie. Where are we going now, Scott? We've got some more text messages. Oh, brilliant. We've got some text messages to read out. Here we go. So, here's the first one. I can't actually see that. Can, could you put it on the screen or...? or do you want me to read it for you? Yes, go on, Debbie, you read it. It says, out. Welcome back, Carol. Where you been? A bit away from <laughs> Off to see Springsteen at Hyde Park. <gasps> Packing flippers and snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I will miss some bargains. Carolyn from London. Bruce Springsteen's playing in Hyde Park. Wow. I think Goodness you need to snorkel. Me. You're definitely going to need your <laughs> snorkel. Yeah, that's going to be yeah. a wet one. Goodness me. <laughs> Oh, wow. I love Fantastic. outdoor concerts. Oh, yeah. I, I called my friend Jessie on the way home from uh, work last night, and she was at the Jessie J concert um, at Warwick Castle. I can't talk. I'm at, no, it wasn't Jessie J. I was on the phone, too. Just, I, can't, I can't call. I, I can't talk. I'm at the Jessie J concert. The noise was just incredible. Oh, and was it that was the one they got Little Boy up? Was that the one they got Little Boy up, the audience? Oh, no, that was no. at... Um, that was, I think that was at Glastonbury. Is it? Oh, well. Maybe he's been watching Glastonbury. Yeah. yeah. Down with the kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> um, have, we, have we got any more text messages, Lovey? This is from Christine in uh, Lancashire. Hi, ladies. Enjoying the show with the first of many cups of coffee. Bliss. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous in Lancashire. Oh, Is it really? Oh, no. we'll all go. Yeah, can we all come to Lancashire then? <laughs> we'll come and see you. And, and who's this one from Debbie? Jennifer in the city of Bristol. What a fab duo this morning. Rock on, rock on you mad lot. Huh? Carol, you're so much fun. Carol, you're so much fun. Even your singing is enjoyable. Now, is that a backhanded compliment? Oh, that might think? be a bit of a backhanded compliment, yes. I think yes. it might be, don't you? Do you think it is? Do you like my singing, Debbie? Lovely. I'm, I think everyone's just taking the Michael out of me today. I, I'm, de no. I'm detecting a hint of That's sarcasm okay. in your voice, Debbie Wilford. <laughs> interesting. You know what people say? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 you won't be invited back. Uh, we've got a brand new bundle featuring <laughs> some chain. Would you like to see it? It's absolutely good. Am I going back over now? Bye bye. Am I staying here? I'm staying here. I thought it, I thought I thought you could ask me to move over move over under the guy of the recording but that's fine so we've got a brand new bundle featuring garnet rose quartz and peridot chain peridot. yeah it's gorgeous and um, this is going to be coming away a little bit later on it's got some gorgeous 9577 chain on there as well um don't go anywhere because we're about to bring you a polymer clay demonstration don't go anywhere <laughs> Join Jewellery Maker on Monday the 16th of July for our advanced beading show with guest designer Cherry Green. Want to learn more about resin? Then why not come and join us on our Introduction to Resin course. Join resin expert Claire John as she guides you through mixing, blending colours, hardening, using resin in jewellery and how to embellish your designs. During the course of the day you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studios and meet the presenters. The full course includes a complete resin starter kit packed full of all the essentials you'll need. All this for just £99.95. For details on course dates and availability, contact our call centre now on 0800 644 655. We look forward to seeing you.
have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Our standard delivery is now only £2.95 per day, regardless of how many pieces of jewellery are added to your order. Delivery takes between four to six working days, and if you want your jewellery quicker, simply speak to our call centre about our premium delivery service. Add to your collection with our Sculpey Clay Basics DVD, full of handy tips and hints for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she teaches us how to create basic canes, kaleidoscope canes, bead shapes and much more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials sign in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Jurymaker are proud to present our new range of Lisa Pavelka border moulds. Make incredible polymer and silver clay border designs to embellish your creations quickly and easily. Each mould contains four different borders which give a wide range of textures and patterns. Use alongside our crafting foils and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view a full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. I'm an outdoor girl, aren't I? Lots of wind. <laughs> I'm going to be your presenter on The Late Show. <sighs> Look at that. And I give good hugs. <laughs> Best celebrity impression. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, I do a good Montgomery Burns. I like doing Scylla Black. Smithers! Life is full, full of surprises. Cut chase. Arnold Schwarzenegger, get out! Get away from me, that camera's too close. Get it now in your basket and check out! Favourite sayings. Now, Rob Jinks keeps stealing these. We go Lolo, Buffalo. There's been words, but he doesn't listen. Holy guacamole as well. Love cakes. What do you mean, is that the best? Did you say, is that the best you've got? Orjuano. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. It just comes out of my mouth, you know? You know, Joy Maker, look at the set, it's absolutely amazing. Favourite biscuit? A Rocky Robin. Chocolate hobnob. Is that a biscuit or a chocolate bar, though? There's controversy there. Is this over yet? I know a lot of you have been really, really looking forward to this um, to this polymer clay demonstration that Debbie's going to be giving us today. How are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. Feeling good? Yes. We've put a brand new bundle together, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I think it's good one of the value. best bundles we've put together. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it is absolutely wonderful. With regards to with regards to making your very own uh, polymer clay jewellery, how how important are these different are these different okay. components? This bundle is fantastic if you've got your basics at home and you think right, what do I what else do I need to mm -hmm. add to them? Okay. Once you've used this clay roller, you will never, ever use your acrylic roller again other than flattening out some of the, the, um, the canes. It is so useful. Obviously, don't use it for pasta once you've used it for clay. You can't <laughs> clean it properly because it's exactly the same as a pasta maker. Mm -hmm. um, but it is so useful. I'll show you mine in a minute when I use it over there. Mm -hmm. Very, very useful. Bead baking rack. Now it's very easy to bake beads um, in a foil dish or in a roasting dish, but this is, I, I think it's essential. I've got three or four on the go all the time. And it just keeps 
your beads nice and neat and tidy. Oh, they're in there, thank you. Mm -hmm. And this includes your baking tray that has your cutting guide if you want to cut something at a 45 degree angle, if you're doing oh, a cane and you want me. to cut something like that. You've got rests for put pendants if they're too large to go in here or you want to prop something up. And then you've got your pins, which are the thickness of uh, a beading thread, which you can thread your beads onto. Do you want me to take one out? Yeah, yeah, that would be um, great. Which you can thread your beads onto and then you just place it across the tray. It keeps so the shape of it, doesn't it? It does, that's mm. right. And then all your pendants and that can go on the bottom, obviously. And that I would put in, in your oven. Now I've got a camping oven, so mine is purely for polymer clay, but if you're going to be doing this in your own oven, I would put this inside an old roasting dish and cover it with foil and mm -hmm. pop it in the oven. It just stops the smell, or if you do put the temperature up too high, it stops if it does burn, it doesn't burn the oven in the house. So it just, it just makes it easier, really. Mm. Um, so you've got your, your pins, and you've got enough pins to go all the way along the baking tray. You've got your acrylic sheet to do um, long snakes of clay mm -hmm. to make them nice and round, which is perfect for bangles and bits and pieces. So that is very, very useful. Then you've got your um, Scopy Clay Projects DVD, which covers just not, not just the basics, but goes into different projects, how to do um, patchworking, how to put canes onto um, different designs, how to embed them in the clay. Mm. So that's, that's your next step up. And then the most, the most fantastic value are these cutters. I've never seen cutters as cheap as these. I don't know how jewellery maker do them. But you've got rounds, you've got flowers, you have hearts, which are beautiful, really nice mm. shaped hearts. They're In fact, gorgeous. some of these I've sort of tweaked at the bottom to make them a bit curved. You've got um, uh, stars. stars. And then these, which are the most useful for doing uh, petals, butterfly wings, pendants. Uh, pendants. And yeah. I also use these for doing price tags. Mm -hmm. I cut out the scrap clay oh, and put gorgeous. a hole in and write on with a silver pen my prices oh. for things. It's just really, really useful. So you've got some superb. But then you get them there. in loads of different sizes. Absolutely. You get absolutely uh, five of each, five of each uh, um, cutter. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful. Beautifully. Very well made. And I mm -hmm. like the fact that it's got a, a, a cuff on the top. Mm -hmm. For anyone who does a lot of polymer clay, you'll know what I mean. When you push down on clay and you're doing a lot of beads, if, they're, if they are um, smooth either side, it can really mm -hmm. hurt your hand if you have to really push into the clay. Well, this has got a actually, cuff on yeah. the top, so it's been folded over, so it's nice and nice to, to work with. Yeah. It, it is it is absolutely superb. And, and uh, looking through each of these tools, I, I know for a fact, speaking to various different guest designers, including Debbie, that, 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 the, um, that the machine you're going to be getting here, the roller, is, is such good quality. It's been so it well is. made. I don't know how they do it for the value. It's just incredible. Just incredible. Because I know that you've been making, uh, you've been using polymer clay for, for a good few years now. And so you must have another polymer clay um, um, roller at home that you've that you've been using I bought three before I came to jewelry maker and I think um, my last one was 34 pounds or something mm. and it's identical identical to this one here <laughs> which is what makes this deal even better because you're going to be getting everything here we put this bundle together um, and specifically because we knew that Debbie was coming in we wanted to be able to bring you something which isn't just the basic um, uh, the basic um, a polymer clay starter pack but something if you're looking to do if if you're looking to move on you know just accessories which you can keep on adding on to your hobby so we knew that we um wanted to bring you something um, really 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 special today it's a brand new bundle for you today okay now to buy these individually you're looking at 35 pounds which it's still good it, value it, actually it, it is amazing value <laughs> yeah, isn't it? It, it, is. it is incredible value it is. But today, with that bundle code, uh, which is at the top um, at the corner of the screen, your deal today is under... Tw is Goodness it's me. unbelievable, isn't it? It really is incredible. Wow. And, and listening to what you were saying about, about your roller and how much you've paid for one of these rollers, which is, which is pretty much identical to this in the past, that is absolutely wonderful, it isn't is. it? That's amazing. I mean, if you bought somebody the starter kit and they've got a birthday coming up, I mean, what a fantastic present to yeah. say, you know, here's something else to... To push your hobby. Do you know what? I, I think I might have stuck with um, with with uh, polymer clay if if I'd have had 
yeah. that have had tools like this. It's it's a way of kind of it's a way of just taking it to the next level, making it making it even more creative. And having these kind of accessories is a really it's a really nice thing to have. Is it? It must it it, it must make you feel like you're. Um, um, it's like men with gadgets. Yes, I like gadgets. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. These are gadgets for crafters. These are these are yeah. wonderful. Yeah, it must make you feel like you are <laughs> Got like to have them. It must make you feel like you're progressing within your yeah, hobby and and you're learning and those things. It makes it things. easier, you know. Make, and if the hobby is easy, then you want to do it more and more, don't you? Mm. So um, yeah. Yeah, I think this is I think this is really 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 fantastic. So a lot of these that have already been allocated, which is really really good to see. Um, half the stock has already been allocated, which is absolutely brilliant. And for less than twenty five pounds, I think just just for the roller on its own, I think that's absolutely wonderful. But you're going to be getting your uh, your bead baking rack as well, um, with that acrylic slide in there as well, and you're going to be getting five in each one of these the rounds the rounds the flowers the stars the hearts and the ovals um, five in each one of these shapes and you're going to be getting the DVD and I do f do um, bear in mind that these bundles are only available until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning they're only available um, until 9 a.m. and then and then the bundles won't exist anymore uh, the all of the components will be will be um, Kind of broken down, and then and then we'll make new bundles. It's a way of us bringing you brand new bundles and loads of brand new pieces and loads of um, fresh ideas each and every day. Um, so it's only available until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then and then and then of course the bundle won't ex um, um, exist anymore. For less than 25 pounds, you're getting this incredible, incredible, incredible deal. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It is. That it really, really is, is awesome. Which which of these which of these do you think would be the most useful to somebody maybe who is um, a beginner with? Um, a beginner with with school Do you think it's going to be watching the DVD first, or do you think it's going to be the roller or or, or the cutters? Which? I think people just need to get hold of the clay and start to work it. Mm. So, uh, um, it's a toss up really between the cutters, so they can make designs, and the roller. Probably mm. the roller actually, because it makes life so much easier. Mm. And yeah. once you've got uniform sheets of clay, it just your designs look better. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I, I really think that is an absolutely amazing deal and uh, well over half the quantity is already gone. Mm. Speaking of clay, hey. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh, just the way these look, they look exciting, I think. Don't you think? I do, yes, but that's that's me. No, but the I'm... colours, they're so, they are so bright, they are so exciting. Now, I know there may be people at home, you might be sitting at home thinking, goodness me, look how bright those colours are. My, my jewellery's going to look and it's going to look it's going to look really really bright and maybe a bit acidic well it can do if you want it to but the colors which you can get out of or by, by blending all of these together is absolutely wonderful was it this color and this one here yes, i did the pale turquoise that you made the amazonite yeah. color with so you really can make the blushes the most beautifully delicate colors by blending some of these together you're going to be getting um you're going to be getting purple it's just kind of a pearlescent purple yes it looks like it a pearlescent purple yeah. one called wasabi which sounds brilliant and you're going to be getting a bright 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 orange um a really really gorgeous citrusy yellow you're going to be getting beautiful emerald green um there's some blue which i think is slightly pearl pearlescent as well, as well. Yes. your gorgeous gold and they don't you hardly you hardly need to use any of that just by adding a little bit to a color you, you get that gorgeous you smattering do. don't you, you? Do. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous bright pink as well. If you add just a little bit of that gold, I bet you get that kind of, um, you know how lapis lazuli has that kind of smattering of gold through it? it with, is it that kind play, of? Yes, I mean, that, some, that really is put in by using foils. But if you mix the gold in with other colours, mm. for one thing, it will take the tone down. Oh, that's a interesting. Bit, and it will also give a sheen to it. So you won't get flecks of gold. But you will give a, uh, have a like like a pearl if you mix with um, colours you'll get a pearl essence. Yeah. You'll get a gold sheen. In fact, just some of the things you'll see later, I've mixed a little bit of gold, and you'll see the, how the effect works. But I put this kit together for the Millefiori, um course because mm -hmm. these are all the flower colours. Yeah. So I did this deliberately. So it's got the leaf and the flower colours, and then you can put the veins of the leaves mixed with a bit of black and that. Oh, brown. gorgeous! So yes. I did it deliberately for, for people who like doing the Millefiori flowers. The, Perfect. The colours are absolutely wonderful here. They're 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 so uh, they're so varied, which which I think is absolutely wonderful. So if you 
working uh, pieces for, for whatever hair colour or eye colour or skin colour you've got. You've got something in there for everyone. You really, really do. I'd say you've got all your fantastic... Um, well, to say basic colours is probably is probably the wrong is probably the wrong thing to say because you are going to be getting so much variety here. But you're going to be getting a colour in here which will suit absolutely anyone. It's it's just it's just gorgeous. And for less than fifteen pounds, what a fantastic starter pack! Getting this and that as well. Oh, I Scott's ball. <laughs> run in and run out again. He has just run in and run out. Are we going to do these now? Now, I know that in the the. The first brand new kit that we did today, you used. Did you use the white? White. You used white. Right. I did. These are big. They are massive. A pound of clay. That is. That's. Do you weight lifting with that? Can't you? you could, couldn't you? I was four pounds when I was born. I was under two of these. Oh I was a teeny tot. I was eight weeks. I was eight weeks premature. And. Um, these are these are big blocks. Now, seriously, Debbie, these are going to last you ages and ages. Surely to goodness. No. Anyone who's been on the courses will know you go home with loads and loads and loads and loads of clay. Mm. The one colour you use more than anything is black. More really? than anything is black because you define your a lot of the canes with black. Lots of things are wrapped in black, oh. and also the white is used for mixing. So the colours actually you don't use a huge amount of because you you, you mix the tones oh. the tones and shades can be used can be mixed by using these two colours. I see so you would perhaps get a really beautiful pastely pink by mixing white with this yeah, or you can get dusky pink by putting a little bit of black and white with it like oh dusky goodness grey. me so these are really your mixing palettes this wow. translucent clay and pearl and ecru actually those are the, the five I would buy but Goodness these two me. in big blocks I can see now why they're in big blocks but yeah. because you will probably use these the most if you were to mix oh I don't know I'm just I'm just kind of picking one at random here if you were to mix this bright orange oh with a bit of black in it looks stunning so what kind it of goes like would a you tangerine get? it goes like a dark orange it's beautiful Ooh, and with really the white lovely. would you get more of a peachy kind of yes. color if you mix a tiny well you'll see in the, the necklace i did did um, over there i mix a little bit of gold a little bit of orange and you've got a real pale peach oh so, oh with the flowers yeah oh brilliant yeah. you see this is this is just so wonderful having somebody like debbie here who can who can say actually if you mix if you mix this color with this color and and with the black or the white you get you get completely different mm. shades this is absolutely awesome you've got to get these as well goodness me if you're <laughs> going to be getting if you're going to be getting the pack the bundle and you're going to be getting the colors you you've you've got to come in and get the black and white as well that's absolutely awesome so how much how, how much are these ones um scott We're just going to get the details at the bottom of the screen. We're having problems with our graphics today. Twenty-four ninety-five. Twenty-four. That's 95. really good value, actually. And if twenty-six ninety-five. Oh, that's accessories bundle. I beg your pardon. I can't read it. I can't read that either. What does that actually say? Sculpty clay accessories bundle. That's this. Sculpty clay accessories bundle. Oh, it's one at the bottom. Twenty-six ninety-five. Do you know we've been both we can't. Glasses. We're looking at us. We're both kind of going. <laughs> Peering at the screen. Black and white pound block of sculpted clay, £26.95. And the that's white really as well? Good. That's the Both two. Both of that's them? That's two. That's amazing! That's really good value. And if you, you teach them, you've got crowds of friends, then buy them and share them. You know, cut them up and share them between you. You get both of these for 20 That That's absolutely mm. amazing. It's really good value compared to... Goodness this me! Do you know what? You're right, Debbie. And um, making... Um, Introducing it, introducing these um, two kids. I know that when I was younger, but I, I, I don't know when I got my when I got my uh, Sculpey clay. I think it was, I must have been about, I was about seven or eight, and me and my sister were obsessed with it. Obsessed that we had a we had an old um, ice cream tub that we used to keep it all, and we used to make our own beads. And we used to make my oh, it was just it, it's just <laughs> such a fantastic thing to do, and it's and it's. It's a great way of getting kids involved with making uh, beautiful jewellery as yeah. well. It really, really is brilliant. So if you've come in, if you've come in to get the bundle and you've come in to get the colours, you may as well come in and get the black and white um, clays as well because you will be using these um, the most. I can't wait to get my, I can't wait to get my hands dirty. Oh, I'm really excited. I'm going to have a go at making these today. Now we're going to move over now and, and see Debbie, uh, see the artists at work. Shall we? The artists at work. Do you know what? I'm going to bring my tea with me. Okay. Go on then. This is going to be amazing. Right. Mm. Now, 
I'm going to do something called a Skinner blend. If anybody there knows anything about uh, clay, you'll know what I'm about to do. And let's move that to one side. I'm just going to put this through the um, pasta machine. This I have clamped to the worktop, and I've put it on the thickest setting, which is number one. Oh, that and looks satisfying. It is, actually. It does look really satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. You see there, you get uniform oh, look at that. pieces of clay. So why yeah. are you re-rolling it? To make it soft, you have to condition the clay before you start. Oh, if you don't okay. condition the clay before you start, you'll find that it will crumble. And if you, you have to also condition the clay, each piece of clay, condition it to the same consistency. Otherwise, Ooh. when you bake it, the colours will crack. One will be softer than the other and they'll pull against each other. So Goodness you me. have to make sure that they are soft. And the way that you can tell is get a, a sausage of clay and you bend it in half and it doesn't crack on the top, you know that it's soft enough. Brilliant. OK, so I'm just going to pop that through the machine. Here, I'm just do the same with the white and then I'm done and I'll show you how to do the Skinner blend. Might take two seconds. Right, put that through. And Debbie's obviously using the roller, which is in which is in the bundle which we've brought to you today for less than um, for less than twenty five pounds. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's like a really solid piece of oh, it is solid piece of machinery. It is exactly the same as one I have at home. I promise you, it's exactly the same. Um, I'll do this and then I'll get you doing something in a second. Yes, no, I'm, a, I'm a little bit envious of my husband's gadgets, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I, I do get a little bit envious of, of, of various different gadgets that he's got. And do you know what? He can now be envious of my gadgets. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> he can be envious of mine. My roller. Yeah, John, if you're watching at home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How you do a Skinner blend is this. You take various triangles, now you don't have to be too perfect with them and put them on top of each other. So really you want to make a rectangle or a square, and that's what you want to aim at. Now I want to, shall I do it in the blue? Yeah. I want to add a little bit of white, so I'm going to take the corner off that, mm. and I'm going to add the corner back with white. Okay, so I want to blend these three colours. Right. So I'm going to fold that over the top. Now I want okay. all of these to blend into each other, which is why I've done uh, triangles and not sort of triangles with a bit of a square. Anyone that knows what I'm doing with Polymer Clay knows what I'm talking about. Oh, goodness me, but look at this! I'm going to put this through the machine. Just, it does take a few times for it to start to blend. <sighs> but it will come through. Okay. See the colours starting to blend off the body that way. One more time. Now you can keep going and keep going until all those stripes disappear. That is awesome. Okay. Look at that. Now somebody on the course did this just with turquoise, blue and white and loved it so much, just cut it out of the pendant because it Do looked you know, like yeah. seaside. So now I'm going to put that on my tile. It's almost like Take. a watercolour effect. It is. It's beautiful. Oh, it is. It is indeed. I yes. bet if you, were, if you got really kind of... Um, into it. You could maybe even make a landscape kind of effect. Well, you can you? you can use watercolours, you can use alcohol inks on these and you can paint a picture if you wanted to. Goodness me, wow. Um, which a lot of people do actually. Right, I'm going to take my black. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is, you'll, you'll see in a minute, it defines the, um, the coil I'm going to do. And then when I put this on top, you are going to do a bead. Oh. me. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to put that on top of this Skinner blend. Okay. okay. And then Skinner. roll it up. Now, to roll it up, to start it off, I'm going to chamfer the edge just to take an angle off. And that okay. means that when you start to roll it, you don't get like a hollow, um, you get a little hole through the middle sometimes if you, if you don't do that. And if it starts to come out at the side, just push it in. So I'm going to roll this up and I'm going to chamfer the other edge. So when you roll it up and completely, you have a black edge and you don't have the colour underneath showing. It's like a licorice all sort. Well it is, absolutely. Cut that in half. Oh this is going to look amazing isn't it? There you go, that's your... Goodness me! Coil, okay. Now you can do these with lots of different colours and I've just got a green and blue and white one there which I did on the course the other day. You can see wow. how lovely they look. That's now, gorgeous. we are going to do, or you are going to do, right. a swirl bead. Getting sweaty palms. Good, that's what you need. <laughs> 
Oh, do you? For this one, yes. <laughs> you don't normally, but you do for this one. Right, I'm going to get one ready for me and one ready for you. So normally you'd need pastry hands. Yeah, yes. Yeah, you normally hands. need really cold hands, actually. I'm going to do a little one, you do the big one. Right. I'm going to put it onto your bead here. Just hot. Now you need to put it so you've got the colour on one side and the black on the other. Just wait a minute and I'll oh. do the other colour. This is slightly smaller. Pressure! <laughs> Probably won't work in here. Typical live TV, it might not work. It will. Right, now, cup your hand over the top. Like this? Yep, and just go round. Like that? Yeah. Push it, push down a little bit, and just go round and round and round and round and round. Now you can do this with an acrylic sheet. You can do the swirls with an acrylic sheet. Okay. Oh, it's getting, ooh! <laughs> oh, hang on, it's not actually rolling, it's gone flat. It's okay, if you take your hand off. <laughs> That's it, you've got a swirl. Yeah. <laughs> you can now. Look. Can you, sorry, can you see that? Whoa, look at that. Debbie, yours is brilliant. <laughs> Mine's rubbish. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Even if you didn't like it, all you need to do is make it back into a circle again and put your hand on. Oh, let's have another go. This is awesome. Look at let's this. Have another go. See, it's addictive. Do you yeah, I want another then? go. I want another go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, there you go. All right. right, okay. This is what look at this. So easy to do. <gasps> and That's so cool. Thank you to Bonnie McGough, who is a polymer clay artist in Shirley, Solar Hill, not far away. And I went to see her with a crowd of the jewellery maker ladies. And I normally do this with an acrylic sheet, and it was Bonnie who did this in a demonstration. And thank you, because now I do it all the time like this. Mm -hmm. Because it works. The heat of your hand and your skin pulls against the clay and it does give a more dramatic swirl. Oh, have another thank go. You. Yes, I'd like another go. Have another go. Okay, so hand on top. Hand on top. A little bit of pressure. Eh? Okay. <laughs> you need to cup your hand a little bit. Okay. So if you think it's pulling the clay around. <laughs> your face. I'm concentrating face. <laughs> Got your face. That's my concentrating face. <laughs> have a look. You can stop. <laughs> You can stop and have a look, yeah? Ah. See, it has started to swirl. Yeah, it has, it has it? started to swirl. Look at it. That's brilliant. But what you, what you can it? do, once you get to that stage, I haven't got my large piece of acrylic, Sorry. but then you can make it into, if you've got a bead like this, that's then almost like um, a bicone, and you press it down, you get that lovely lentil sort of shape, which is stunning to put in the centre of a necklace or... Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. And they work better with stripes. They work better with canes that have got stripes in them or, mm -hmm. or contrast. But they do look rather pretty. That is brilliant. That is addictive. I want to... Yeah. You're just going to swirl all day now. Yes. It took, took me half a dozen times to get it right, I have to say. But you, you, have get... to, you have to really cup your hand and make sure you go in the same direction. But you get such a... You get such a wonderful kind of, um, you get such a wonderful effect, don't you? It's absolutely you amazing. And what I think is so fantastic about this is you get, is you're creating, it would be wrong to say you're creating something out of nothing, but you, you are creating art. You are, art, really. I you? mean, and yeah, you are. Sometimes if I do um, some canes and I have one piece left over mm -hmm. and I get some scrap clay and just do this onto, um, onto a piece of scrap clay and it makes it, work of art you know I just think I think they're beautiful they're yeah, really pretty gorgeous? really pretty that is absolutely beautiful I'm gonna get myself some polymer clay I think <laughs> goodness me what what's happening now Scott are we gonna have some more demonstrations in a bit oh brilliant we're gonna have some more demonstrations in a bit as well but I can't wait to get going um sorry say that again Scott oh yes please yeah that'd be brilliant we've got some text messages all right fine here we go Debbie, you read that one because I can actually see it. it. Says, Hi, ladies. I have had some clay and tools for a while, but scared to use it. But we'll now have a go. Good, Valerie. Oh. Have a go. Get out the black and white clay first and have a play. Monochrome always looks stunning. Yeah, so I bet it does. have a go with the black and white clay and don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. It, no. it, it, and, uh, you, because nothing's right or wrong. You well, can this make is a it. mess. How's somebody going to make a mess? I don't, it's your design. Exactly. I don't think it can. I don't think you can no. actually make mistakes nope. um, with with polymer clay. I think that's what's so fantastic nope. about it. And we've had another text here with a question for Debbie. Um, it's it's from Julia in, in Hertfordshire. Hi, Carol, Debbie, and all the team at Jewelry Maker. Loving the.
and all the developments keep me entertained uh, it, keep, it keeps me entertained in the rain Debbie how do you mix two colors of polymer clay to make another solid color rather than stripy etc thanks Julia from Hertfordshire that's a good question Just keep going basically if I was to mix um, clay like this, if we've got time, just so a tiny white, little bit. White and wasabi. White and a tiny little pea-sized piece of wasabi that I've just squidged onto that. Mm. And you basically just keep putting it through the machine. Keep going and keep going until the colours, keep folding it and folding it and putting it through until the colours start to blend. And then move it up to a higher number. So it flattens it more keep going so it's keep going and keep yes it's a lot thinner keep going and keep going Ooh. don't do what i just did just put a fold in and it'll pop did you hear the, yeah, the bubble pop then but um there you go there's your solid color that's brilliant isn't it look at that there's your solid color made from that and that isn't that wonderful so it's a gorgeous just color. keep going just keep going and keep <laughs> going and keep going until it becomes solid yeah, that is absolutely and wonderful. Once you've mixed it, just let it stand for half an hour because it's so soft now. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, gosh, it is, it's isn't quite it? quite warm and soft, so just yeah. leave it. Mm -hmm. And 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 what's the what's kind of... Why do you leave it? Yes. <laughs> Did I could see that. Um, because it goes like chewing gum and it goes too soft. Mm. If you're going to make a cane with very delicate patterns, you'll find that these will be fine, but this will just squash as you're trying to make it into a nice pattern mm. to squash so this needs to go back to the consistency of how it was in the packet so you put it in the fridge for an hour or just let it sit on your your tile for half an hour gorgeous thank you so much have we got some more wall of fame in a second scott oh are we oh now we're not going to do wall of fame just yet we've got peridot coming up in a second i know Ooh. how long you've been waiting for peridot i know how excited we are law about the launch of this brand 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 new strand in fact we've got two <laughs> loads of peridot today we've got a brand new strand of peridot coming up in just a couple of seconds don't go anywhere <laughs> you can now watch clips from jewelry maker on our youtube channel get interactive with Jewelry Maker. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using beading thread, but for this technique, use monofilament. Cut the required amount of monofilament thread. Thread on your bead, taking the tail through the center hole. Take the tail thread back through the hole to form a loop. Take the thread, onto the underside of the bead and up through the loop. Take the thread over and through the new loop formed and pull through. Pull the thread tight and push the bead down onto the knot, enclosing it in the bead. You may need to adjust the bead in order for the wire to sit correctly. However, when using monofilament, that will be easier. Repeat these steps until you have the required amount. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage, where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our quick search tool to narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. This is absolutely incredible. Not only have we um, had a really, really exciting show so far with brand new bundles, brand new kits, a polymer clay demonstration, Debbie Bolford, you know, could today get any better? Well, do you know what? I think it could. Because live today, we have Ewan McGregor in the studio. Welcome, Ewan McGregor, everyone. I'm joking. 
sorry, I'm joking. It would be amazing if we had you and McGregor here. Especially, but only in the Davidoff advert. That, that's the only time I found... He is here. He's here. You and McGregor is in the building. It's Chris. It's Chris Durden. <laughs> It's actually Chris. It's Chris Durden. It's not Hugh McGregor. Um, but no, today could get better. It could get even better because I've got some brand new Peridot for you. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know how long you've been waiting for Peridot. I, I know we've had so many people asking us about Peridot. When are we going to get it back in? We're looking for really, really, really fresh, fresh green Peridot, the best that we can get hold of. I'll be honest with you, it has not been easy at all to get hold of this. Um, Paula, um, who is the Grand Fromage here at uh, Jewelry Maker, uh, was over in China just, um, was it last week? I think it was last week, was it, was it last week, a couple of weeks ago? Co yeah, a couple of weeks ago. And she knew she knew that, that she had to find some Peridot. We had to get um, really, really, really top quality Peridot for you. It was extremely difficult to get hold of, but we have got one of the best strands I think I've ever seen on jewelry makeup right here for you. Now, it's probably gonna sell out um, today. Um, it's, it's, you know, we've actually got less than 100 of these. It's gonna be going very, 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 very quickly indeed. What is it you love about Peridot? Well, the colour, the clarity, and with this particular strand, both of those combined together with the size and the shape. These are absolutely gorgeous. You are getting beautiful, perfectly formed cubes of top, top quality Peridot here. You're looking at a gemstone that forms at unbelievably high temperatures, similar to the kind of temperature that diamonds um, uh, form at. It has this gorgeous grass green colour, um, but it has yellow undertones and bright white brilliance. The, the quality you're going to be getting in this strand is, is absolutely superb. I've never seen a strand like this on Jewelry Maker um, as far as size and shape goes. Um, the quality is actually similar to some of the, um, you know, those gemstone, you know, those gemstone strands that we have, which are connected onto 95 settings of a chain. It's similar to that kind of quality, you know, proper gemstone quality strands here. We're going to have to bring you the price. These are already starting to fly out the door. It's $24.95. Now, in all honesty, I mean, Debbie, what do you think of this strand? Oh, I think that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Peridot is one of my favourite favourite gemstones. Mm. I mean, just, just gorgeous. Why do you think everybody's hankering after uh, Peridot at the minute? Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because it's springtime. Mm. Everyone's so fed up with the rain. Mm. And it just, that to me is like springtime daffodils. It's gorgeous, that isn't sort it? Of, you know, grassy sort of colour. I just think it's gorgeous. It just cheers you up. It does, doesn't it? Mm, this, beautiful. This with a whole host of other gemstones, including um, citrine or, or rose quartz or... What are you laughing at, Ollie? Scott being, Scott Scott's singing in the in, in the gallery, He's singing because it's cheering Scott up. Aww. Scott, why don't you come and sing to us for a second? Come on, come on, Scott. What do you mean? No chance is not happening. If you're willing to sing down my ear, why don't you sing to everyone at home? <laughs> no chance, no chance. No chance, no chance. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous strand. We're down to the last few in stock already. Now, I am going to be bringing you a gorgeous, gorgeous strand of rose quartz, um, which actually will go beautifully with this peridot, or peridot, as the Americans call it. Peridot. Peridot. Um, rose quartz is coming away in just a couple... It, well, be before the end of the show. I don't know exactly when we're going to be bringing it to you. So about midday, we're going to be bringing you the rose quartz, apparently. Gorgeous, beautiful cubes. Beautiful, beautiful cubes there, absolutely gorgeous. And actually this, this stunning, sorry, say that again, Scott. Oh yes, when are we gonna, be... are we doing that now? Brilliant, okay. So if you missed out on that Peridot, don't worry, I've actually got some more brand new Peridot coming your way today. Now, we're gonna be bringing you this in about 20 minutes time. Do you know when we bring you these 95 sterling silver chains and we put gemstone quality gemstones on them, like this one here, with rose quartz, like this one here, with garnet, and like this one here, with peridot, we are bringing you these three chains with a really, really special edition of 
this 925 sterling silver heart chain. Um, we're going to be bringing that to you in about 20 minutes time. It's absolutely incredible. Now, we've got a much, 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 much larger quantity of this. Um, so if you did miss out for the Peridot just a few seconds ago, um, apologies for that. Uh, but we've got Peridot, Rose Quartz, Garnet and 95 cents of a chain coming away in about 20 minutes time. And that is going to be going under 25 pounds. Believe it or not, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. That's going to be coming your way really, really, really shortly. And I think that one's probably going to sell out as well. Now, how about another brand new kit? Everything's brand new today. What's going on? We've got another brand new kit here. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Smitten. 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 <laughs> Debbie, who is your who is your all time uh, crush? Donny Osmond. Goodness me, the Years speed ago. at which she answered that. Donny only Osmond. Because, only because Lucy's asked me before, and I did used to have a purple bedroom, and I did used to have a Donny Osmond hat and a pillowcase, and very embarrassed by it. But yes, and it was either him or who was it? Um, it was either Donny Osmond or oh, who was the other one that was with at the same time? David Cassidy. You were either one or the other. David Cassidy. What did he sing? Oh no, he didn't. He was in um, Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard? No, 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 no. He was in the Partridge Family. Remember, he was. Um, what was he? What did he, he sing? What did he? Why was he going? Who? What who? did David Cassidy sing? Did he sing? He sung. Oh didn't yes, he? yes, yes, yes. I was think of the song. Was he in Coronation Street? Oh, no. That was David Essex. <laughs> he was. In, David Essex was in was Come in EastEnders. <laughs> I don't think so. But David Essex used to sing as well, didn't he? he had, yes, he's he got, did. got gorgeous eyes as David, yes, uh, David Essex, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> well, I don't know what David Cassidy sang. If you know, text in and I'll yes. sing it just for you. <laughs> you watch, no one will text in now. Can't, I can't for the life of me think why. Uh, now, we've got a brand new kit here called Smitten. I think my, my, my all time favorite, it, it, it's a toss up between you and McGregor, but only in the Davidoff advert. And uh, and Robert Downey Jr. It's probably Ro it's probably Robert Downey Jr. Actually, he's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love Ray Winston. Yes, I do love Ray Winston. <laughs> they're, they're shouting me in Cockney accents now. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So this kit's called oh, Smitten, and um, it is absolutely beautiful. We've got our old faithful Botswana and agate here. Six millimeter plain rounds here, looking absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Genuine gemstones. Ryan's pretending to be Ray Winston at the minute. I love you, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got. <laughs> Calm down in there, boys. We've got multicolored oh, Chinese jade rounds here, which is eight millimeters in diameter. Beautiful colors here. And um, you're going to be getting everything from um, citrusy yellows to beautiful greens. This looks a lot like. Um, oh, what's that gemstone that I've forgotten the name of? Praise your light, pray night, pray night. This isn't it. Even diopside, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really, really beautiful strand there. Now, how about we bring you some agate plane rounds here, which are 10 millimeters in diameter. Loving the colors in this kit. And then fancy colored uh, uh, bloodstone, which is tw which are 12 millimeters in diameter. These are just gorgeous. I think these look a little bit like clay, actually. The kind of colors are wonderful here. They're really, really beautiful. Like an artist's palette, it's just wonderful. Now, as well as these four strands of genuine gemstones, you're gonna be getting big, 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 big mesh beads. <laughs> you're gonna be getting a pack of, how many, how many beads are you gonna be getting? Uh, 10, 10, oh, there we go. 10 rose gold colored mesh beads. These are gorgeous. They, you can use them simply as spacer beads. They're big and they're extremely light. Um, they, they, they look absolutely wonderful with so many different gemstones. With the blue aragonite that we gave to Debbie in her challenge um, um, today, they, they would look absolutely gorgeous. Great with lapis lazuli, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful addition. Like I say, with these brand new kits, we love to give you little added extras uh, just to kind of help you on your way and to kind of maybe maybe help you uh, think outside the box and to kind of challenge you a little bit with your designs. So you're gonna be getting 10 of these gorgeous rose gold colored mesh beads. Now. We're actually giving you even more here, and I love the way that Debbie has um, incorporated this into her designs. You're going to be getting strands of, and here we go, let's get this, this khaki-coloured 
beading thread. Now, you will love the way that Debbie has actually used this. She's, she's macrame some of these. They look absolutely wonderful with the gemstones. And in fact, if you put the gemstones, what I love about this and all the components together, because they look amazing together. Look at these colors together. They look absolutely wonderful. You've got all the khakis, you've got the lemons, you've got the greens, you've got the um, browns and the greys, and then you've got the coppery tones, and then you've got the uh, really, really dark olivey tones of the beading thread. Uh, the beading thread you're going to be getting, does it say how many of the beading threads you're going to be getting? Uh, there we go. Five one meter lengths of military green cord. Ooh, military chic. I like the sound of that as well. Yeah. Now now, this kit is very, very, very big, not just on the gemstones, but on the findings. You're going to be getting 100 yellow gold plated copper findings here. Loads and loads and loads of them. You're going to be getting a metre of the chain. You're going to be getting eye pins, head pins, jump rings, earring chandeliers, crimp beads, crimp bead covers, all of this included in the kit. OK, so. We want to give you a really, really fantastic deal here. Bearing in mind you're getting four gemstone strands, five of these of these um, khaki green, these olivey green beading threads. You're going to be getting ten uh, rose gold coloured mesh beads. What do you think would be an awesome prize for you? What do you think would be a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant deal? I'm thinking if we got well, actually, if you if you price these individually from our website, you'd be looking to pay over forty pounds. In fact, close to forty nine you'd be looking to pay for all of these um, components um, uh, priced differently on our website but in actual fact if, if, if this as a kit was available to you today for less than 30 pounds that would that would be amazing wouldn't it be absolutely incredible well this brand new kit only available till 9 a.m. tomorrow morning guess how low we're gonna go today it's under 20 pounds that's amazing under 20 pounds, four strands of gemstones, five strands of that gorgeous, gorgeous um, olive green beading thread, and 10 of those rose gold colored mesh beads. Now that is an absolutely amazing price. And don't forget the 100 findings you're gonna be getting, 100 yellow gold plated copper findings. That really is wonderful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Now, we have given this kit to Debbie. We have given her the um, opportunity to um, not just use the gemstones, but also incorporate some um, uh, polymer clay as well. You're going to love how she's used not just the mesh beads, but the beading thread as well. You will absolutely love it. Would you like the gemstones, Debbie? Um, no, I'm okay, actually. You're all right without the gemstones. Now, it's amazing when you think that... Well, look, looking at each individual piece of jewellery here, Debbie, they could come from totally different kits. They could, couldn't they? They are so different. It's absolutely wonderful. I think that's what I love so much about this kit. It's, it's, it's tribal. It's um, really frilly and beautiful. It, it, it's so, so many different things. I just, I just love it. And when I first opened it up and saw mm. these colours, I thought, oh, do I, do I like them, do I not like them? But actually, the more I look at them, the more I do like them because they're, they're such a, uh, the nude colours that are in mm. um, and they go from season to season. I think they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They are really absolutely nice. gorgeous. Mm. This necklace here is just, I love the way you've used the bead beads. That's just, a really... It takes the weight off some of the gems. If you had some really chunky gems, mm -hmm. to put the mesh beads in between, you know, just, just makes such a difference. But mm. the clay goes really nicely with them. You've, you, you've made some gorgeous kind of almost... They're almost kind of snakeskin um, uh, beads. Some of these green ones at the top. Look at these. Aren't they incredible? They're just gorgeous. Almost like um, like lizards um, at, at scales. They're, they're absolutely beautiful, and it goes so well with the with the rose gold coloured uh, uh, mesh beads. It does. Beautiful. I really really like that necklace actually. Just gorgeous. The bloodstones mm. a really funny colour, isn't it? It it, 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 it is like a nude colour. No, I can't wear very pale colours normally mm -hmm. that's why I say when people have peaches or pale blues I'll put browns and what have you with it because I, it just lo just lost on me completely mm -hmm. but actually that isn't mm. it's it's a it's a different sort of colour it's beautiful yeah really it is lovely. absolutely gorgeous and um, and with regards to the 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 beading thread look how Debbie has used it here she's you've done a macrame now this is a macrame um, sling. yes it's a square knot really it's the same okay. as a friendship bracelet knot um, but just a very, very tiny one. 
that you can then pull the necklace to whatever length you wish. That colour's wonderful, isn't it? That kind of, um, it's, it's called a lovely military cord. green. It's like a silky cord. It's beautiful. It's really yeah. nice. Oh, I love, oh, look how beautifully it goes with, Oops. oh, I was wondering why that was difficult to move around. <laughs> it, looks, it looks beautiful with the bloodstone. And then, of course, you've incorporated it with that incredible pendant on the bottom there. That's absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. There's a lot. And, and this pendant here, you said... Well, all, the, all the bits and pieces I had left over from mm -hmm. here, from the, um, the cane that I use on these beads, I mm -hmm. just twisted and put through the polymer clay, through, through the uh, clay roller, and thought, that's quite nice, that stripe. I'll just cut a bit out of it. And that was that's the side of the, the scrap clay, It's basically. like an African shield, isn't it? I know. It's just so gorgeous. That's just some I had left over. And I thought, oh, I could just do, use a few beads with that. Now, the technique you're going to show us is actually this technique here, which is actually Stringing. applied to a lot of pearl necklaces and pearl pieces of jewellery. Um, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Can you see these, the way these gemstones just sit apart from each other? It seems to make... It, it, it just adds something to this necklace. It adds maybe yeah. a... a I think to this necklace, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It makes the gemstones, each gemstone, important. But it, it hangs differently. Mm -hmm. it, can I take that off there? Is that okay? Yeah, um, go for it. it. It does hang differently. It swings. I can't explain really unless you hold a necklace that's been threaded with um, with thread or cord. It hangs differently to necklaces that have been threaded right. with beading thread. It just it just does. I can't explain why. It just seems to move more. That's interesting. What, because the, there are because knots in between? Because it's softer, because it's softer fabric. A piece of fabric rather than a piece of perspex. Because yeah, this you is know the what? beading it, wire, yes. it's just metal covered in plastic. It does seem to have yeah, more fluidity, it just, doesn't it? It does move a lot more. Mm. That's interesting. Gosh. I, 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 do you know what? I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have been able to identify on. the difference. Yeah. That's why pearls, I think, are threaded like that. It just, just feels nicer. Yeah. And it's on. I can't explain why. But it okay, so you've used the you've used the bloodstone, and you've also used, by the look of it, the agate. Yes, because they've right. both got enormous holes, which ah, is great. Fantastic. So you can get your uh, your beading your thick satiny beading thread through okay. there. Ever so easily. Gorgeous. Ever so easily. Go on then. Right then, I will. Here we go. Here is a toggle clasp, and I've just knotted the um, the thread onto the end of the toggle. Just in a double knot, that's all. If I was at home, I would put some um, clear nail varnish or jewellery glue onto that just to hold it together. But because we now do lovely crimp covers, mm -hmm. I'm going to start off, if I just pop that down, start off by putting a crimp cover. Now, a crimp cover is a bead with a bit cut out. It's like a, a piece of cake with a slice cut. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that I'm going to just pop over the knot to push over that knot that I've put by the toggle clasp, like that. Oh, it's okay. fantastic. It goes over the beading thread, isn't it? It does. Oh, it's such a silky thread. It's beautiful. And then just squash it with my flat nose pliers, and then it looks like a bead. And then you yeah. can cut off the excess. Mm. Okay, and it's nice and secure. It's kept nice and tight. Just do it one more time, because you can really squeeze these really tight. There we go. Right. Now, these two stones have huge holes, which is great. If you have a problem getting the thread through, if you cut it with a, a pair of scissors or your uh, pliers at an angle to make a point and then pop it in um, some uh, nail varnish, it just makes it very, very stiff. So Ooh, it's like a needle, yeah. okay? But with these stones, actually, you don't need to. It's so silky, it will just go through beautifully without any problem. You don't have to ream them at all. So I'm just going to cut off the excess mm -hmm. thread at the top there. Now, how do you get your, your knot very, very close? You can buy yeah. various pliers that are, they say are purling pliers or knotting pliers. The easiest way I find is to hold your thread as close to the bead as possible. This is how I do it. Um, and actually form a knot around the bead, oh, okay? Oh, brilliant. So I put a knot around there, mm -hmm. feed it underneath the pliers, and just tease the pliers out until the knot is right up to that bead. You see that? That's fantastic because that's one okay. thing that I would I would think. Well, how on earth am I going to get them that close? Yes, and do it one more time. Using using your using your hands. That's right. 
There are all sorts of ways of doing it. Some people use a needle and mm -hmm. they thread around a needle. That one, I can't see the hole in it. Aha, uh -huh. mm -hmm. find it now. Let's do one more and I'll show you. So that now sits nice and close to that knot, but it still has movement, okay? So I'll do that one more time. Maybe the reason why um, the necklace moves so beautifully is because you've got almost jets in between the gemstones, so there is that little bit of yeah. added f um, flexibility as well. Yes, perhaps. Mm. Just knotted that around and make sure the knot goes underneath the pliers mm -hmm. so you can hold it, okay? So I'm just, whoops, take that out. Hold it really, really close to the bead, whoops. Now if that happens like it's just, just done to me and the knot is too far away, really, really simple, open up the knot again. Push your pliers through the knot and hold it really close to the bead and just pull it down. So don't worry if it doesn't work first time. But there you have two knots that are really, really close. Okay. Gorgeous. Pop it there. All right? Yeah. Just with your pliers. All right? That's and fantastic. And that works with lots of beads as well. Yeah. Lots yeah. of beads. I'd, I'd, I noticed, just as you were starting that technique and I started to move the jewellery over, Yeah. I just assumed these pieces were from something else you've been working on. This is actually from the same kit. <laughs> you get a completely different look with these pieces. And this is using the Chinese, uh, the Chinese jade. Look how, goodness me, how bright these pieces are. So you can get pieces of jewellery, um, um, obviously if you come in and get the clay as well, that look as bright and as beautiful as these, going right through to something which is really quite... Um, Really, quite kind of earthy in its colour, mm. and very, very glamorous with the um, with the golden um, um, gold uh, coated um, spacer beads here as well. But that is absolutely amazing. There are so many different looks in one kit. There is. Let me go very pale. These little flowers here that I've done with the clay. Um, you can go very bright or very pale. It, 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 polymer clay can extend your jewellery so oh, much. Can make it go so far. I know you're going to be showing us the little flowers later mm. on, aren't you? Can't wait to see those. I know there's a lot of you at home who are probably who are probably waiting to see a technique like that as well with Debbie. Um, and and the polymer clay, it, you know, it, it, to say that it adds to the designs is 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 such a huge understatement because it really does. It really helps to just not not just add to the designs, but it kind of it it makes it makes the designs go. It makes the kit go even further because oh, you're it does. using. It does. It does indeed. Yes. This this is incredible. This clay this clay edition is amazing. That, that looks like quite a... I love that. It's really nice. I love it's those beautiful. Colors. And on this other bracelet here, you can actually bake on But you can bake with the um, cord inside it. Oh. And you can bake with the chain inside. You can bake with wire inside. Because the, the oven isn't that warm, you can bake... Well, what temperature findings. do you bake the clay at? It says maximum 130 on the packet. I tend to go to about 120 mm. um, and cook it for about 15 minutes and then check it and make sure it's exactly what I want, that it hasn't moved or what have you. And then if it needs to be baked again, I bake it again. Yeah. Depends on the thickness of the, whatever I'm baking. And then presumably you have to leave it to cool for quite a while. No, you can plunge it in water. In fact, it makes it stronger if you plunge it in water, especially ice water. Mm. Um, and it comes out of the oven. But for 20 Mm -hmm. So you can slice some things if you want, or you mm. can manipulate them if they've gone you know, curly. You can put a book on top of it and they'll go flat again. Oh, um, but after that, it goes cool and quite hard. Gorgeous. And what a fantastic kit to add to add the clay onto. You're going to be getting so many different colours in here, so many different, um, so many different tones. That what a great kit to actually add clay to. It's just gorgeous. That's a really beautiful cut. I love that one. Uh, so there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines at the minute, of about a minute um, at the minute. So just hold those lines and we'll answer your call as soon as you can. What a, go what a gorgeous kit. That really is lovely, lovely, lovely. Really a gorgeous kit to brighten up a bit of a dismal day here. Is it still raining out there? Has it stopped raining? The sun's come yeah, out. <gasps> Fantastic. Do you want to do some wall of fame, Debbie? Yeah, OK. Well, we're, we're going to do a really happy wall of fame now because the sun is <laughs> out.
I've got number 390 here. This is from Sharon in Chesterfield. This piece is from my entry for this week's Ball of Fame using lapis lazuli tubes, stabilised turquoise and polyester chain, all from Jewelry Maker. The flower and clasps from my stash. I thought I would try and do a different uh, take on the lovely Gemma Crow's uh, fan design. Hope you like it and it's good enough to go on the Wall of Fame. Do you know what, um, Sharon? I absolutely love this design. Did you see Gemma Crow's... Um, Art Deco design. I did. It was the kit I put together. Funnily enough, it was the most yeah. incredible demonstration. This year, and it just looked it looked awesome, didn't it? Mm, and I lovely. love I love how you've used the polyester loop chain because it's so light that you can use it with something which is quite gem heavy like this. Sharon, that's gorgeous. Thank you very very much for that. Here's yours from Debbie. This is number three eight eight. I love this. The way it's been presented is beautiful. Three eight eight from um, Brigitte. And it says, hi to JM, this is my wall of fame for this week and it's made from your freshwater pearls. I think they're from a pearl box and your white tiara and combs are great. I've had them from elsewhere in the past and not so nice. And the necklace um, and wood star heishi he he beads, uh, which are, which are well at the moment. <laughs> so, oh, I see what you mean. Um, she likes the shape of those beads, so please get some more in, basically. I love the show, but hate that my card won't buy me at all. I need another bank account for quite a bit. I love the way those have been um, uh, displayed. They look absolutely yeah. gorgeous. The shape of the heat are lovely. They're really unusual. They're beautiful. They're hanging. Yeah, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous few designs there. Really, really beautiful. I've got, um, I've got designs here from uh, Vicky in Essex. Hi, Vicky. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Uh, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. This is my second lot of jewelry sets I've made with uh, JM Gemstones, and I just love the show. I try and watch the show when I can. Um, as my nearly two-year-old likes to watch CBBS instead. I hope my jewellery is good enough for the Wall of Fame. Keep up the good work. Vicky, that's absolutely gorgeous. I love the tassel. I love your tassel, Vicky. It's gorgeous. So Thank you very I. much. And you are number 391. Uh, this is from Pam in Staffordshire. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I made it with black onyx interspersed with pink banded oh, agate. Gorgeous. I got myself in a right pickle trying to get the pink flat agate right, I can tell you. Because I only saw it demoed once and was doing it blind, laugh out loud. Uh, I love Jewelry Maker, so have it on all morning and then watch the late show. Loving the new format. You are com all completely nuts. Yeah, which so is lovely to see. Including you, Debbie. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for all the beautiful gems you bring us and the fab price. And you are number 389. That's lovely. That's gorgeous. And all that hard work has paid off because yes, that's a gorgeous has. design. That is beautiful. I love, I love using, I, I love seeing black onyx and black agate with with really bright gemstones mm. like that. It looks gorgeous. What's Very coming nice. up next, Scotty Bombalotti? We've had a text message about Debbie Cassie. Debbie, I think oh. you should read this one out. <laughs> right. I'm just a daydreamer. That was it, David Day Cassidy. Daydreamer. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like that, but enjoying the show. Do you know what? Right. Okay. Where are we going next, Debbie? Go on, you can do the outro then. Fine. I'll just stand over here. You just What's coming up next? I have no idea. You don't know? No. Per it was Perido uh, 95 Sunny Silver Chains coming up next. Exactly what Carol just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> I can't. Add to your collection with our Wirework DVD, which is full of hints, tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Laura Binding as she takes you through how to create the Tree of Life, the Herringbone Weave and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Last year, GEMS TV held its first ever Christmas gala dinner, raising over £6,000 through auctions and raffles in Zambia. And this summer, we're doing it again. Join us on Friday the 10th of August at the Stratford Manor Hotel for our Summer Sparkle Ball. Set in the heart of England, surrounded by 21 acres of landscape grounds, this quintessential English hotel will provide the perfect venue for an evening of fantastic food, auctions, raffles and a live band, which is guaranteed to get everyone on the dance floor. With even bigger auctions and more raffle prizes to be won, choose from three different packages, with tickets starting from just £59 per person.
but be quick to book as presenter hosted tables are strictly limited and bound to sell out fast. To book your tickets call 0845 6588 663 or go to our website The Summer Sparkle Ball with Gems TV. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to introduce Lisa Pavelka Water Slide Transfers. These transfers are sure to enhance your silver and polymer clay designs. Each pack contains an extensive collection of images from Art Deco to symbols and nature print. These easy to use sheets will come with full instructions and tips for use. They are a great way to embellish all of your creations. Use alongside our border mold and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view our full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. I'm talking to Debbie Bulford at the minute. I'm, uh, I think I've fallen out with her. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Well, you know, she's not being very nice about my singing this morning. Something very supportive. <laughs> I don't know, should I, should I just let it lie? Do you know, I think for the minute I am going to let it lie because I've got the most incredible bundle to look at right now. New! New in! New in. Um, it is brand new. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, Sometimes gemstones are like buses. They are. Massive. You seem to be waiting. <laughs> seem to be waiting forever and ever. <laughs> Just calm down, everyone. Um, you seem to be waiting for um, a certain gemstone forever, and then two come along at the same time. It's exactly what we've got here because I've got a chain bundle project with Peridot. This is absolutely wonderful. Now, the last pair that we bought to you just a few seconds ago, and um, for the moment, has all been allocated. But, you know, if you are watching this as a repeat, um, um, do give us a call. Do, do see if you can still get involved, because sometimes people don't check things out of their baskets uh, for whatever reason, and so things do fall back into stock. So if you are watching this as a repeat, always do give us a call, even if something appears to have sold out. So you're going to be getting a nine-inch length of 925 sterling silver chain with Peridot, OK? Now, we've done the hard work for you here in the fact that um, attaching these beautiful, perfectly formed little gemstones, which have been perfectly faceted onto 95 settings of a chain, that must take hours and hours and hours collectively. It really, really would do. These are gemstone quality gems, so they're not what we would describe as bead quality gemstones. Um, and the fact that they've got great, great clarity, they've got awesome colour, they've all been hand faceted, hand polished, hand drilled, hand set onto 95 sterling silver chain. So it's a nine inch length of this. These look great just if you want to put a bolt ring clasp and a jump ring um, on either end and make it into a bracelet or an anklet. They also look fantastic if you chop them down and make them uh, maybe into dangly earrings or a tassel on the bottom of a necklace. They're just gorgeous. Now, already 20 of these have flown out the door, okay? So I think we can all kind of sense that these, this is going to be very, very popular indeed. As well as your peridot chain, you're getting rose quartz. Now, these rose quartz appear to be a little bit more like a rondelle shape, actually. So the peridot seem to be more of a kind of a nuggety round. The rose quartz appear to be more of a rondelle shape, which look absolutely gorgeous with the peridot. Now, there is another chain here. And it's gone. It's one of my all-time favourite gemstones. I just like to hold this strand out because as the light hits it, it's incredible. I don't want to take anything away from the peridot or the rose quartz at all because what you're going to be getting there is absolutely superb. But I'd just like to draw your attention to this entirely natural gemstone. This is garnet. Um, you are getting a totally natural strand of garnet and um, it, 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 it's been lovingly faceted. Look at the lust you're getting from this garnet. It's amazing. This is a gemstone which has been around for hundreds, thousands of years. A gemstone which for many, many, many hundreds and thousands of years, it's been, it's been talked of. In fact, this is one of the gemstones which is mentioned in the Bible. It's, it, it's just, it's the most amazing quality. 
Now, garnet is extremely difficult for us to get hold of here at Jewelry Maker. And for a gemstone, which is one of the most, um, it, is, it is one of the most widely sought after and widely known gemstones. A lot of the garnet on the market can be quite inky. It can be quite um, dark. Whereas this has got beautiful clarity and a really rich kind of Bordeaux kind of claret um, red color. It's totally natural. Now, three strands, three chains. We've done the hard work for you. We've done the work for you so you don't have to do anything other than other than attach it onto, uh, um, attach it onto that um, project or, or, or chop it down, make it into dangly earrings. Can you imagine how long it would take you to attach each gemstones onto 925 sterling silver eye pins or head pins? It would take hours collectively, wouldn't it? So we've done that for you. Now, this is a brand new bundle, a brand, 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 brand new bundle. We're not stopping there. I, I, don't, yeah, I haven't seen this chain before on Jewelry Maker. You're getting 925 sterling silver chain. This has got a little bit of a difference because it's heart-shaped links you're going to be getting here, which are just gorgeous. And um, there's something universally loved about, about the heart shape. Um, it's, of course, a, a symbol of love. It's ageless, it's timeless, it's international. It, 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 it's absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, but these links aren't perfectly flat. They've got a bit of a, a, bit of a curve to them, which just looks absolutely gorgeous. The light hits that 95 sterling silver just beautifully. Now, Debbie, with regards to with regards to using a chain like this, I suppose you could you could cut these, couldn't you? And and kind of separate them out, couldn't you? Yes, I've cut them before at the bottom of the heart mm. and then sunk them into polymer clay and used them as a bale. What a lovely idea. Because then you've got the cut bit inside the clay. Yes. You know? Um, but I have used them before actually with just using a little bit of jewellery glue and anyone who out, out there who does silversmithing, obviously you can solder if you cut it you can solder the, the bottom too again so but yeah fantastic point there because you, you might not want to use this in one go you might want to separate these out i mean these th this would make a beautiful little charm to come on a bracelet you know the little um the little heart-shaped charm which debbie showed us earlier on and that yellow gold plated um uh, copper head pin you know you could you could maybe you could maybe kind of attach one of these onto the same bracelet as well and you could have a gorgeous little a, a little heart bracelet you know for a wedding um for for bridesmaids for flower girls on 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 tiaras on hair slides on brooches gorgeous now i haven't seen a bundle like this before on jewelry maker um the original price, if, 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 if you were to buy all these separately on our website, it would be over £60. Now, I think that the quality comes in the, in the three strands of gemstones. The quality comes from the fact that these are individually faceted, individually drilled, individually polished gemstone quality gemstones. And what I mean by gemstone quality gemstones is the fact that we would set this peridot, this garnet, this rose quartz into rings, earrings, um, uh, pendants on our sister channels, um, uh, Rocks TV, Gems Extra, and Gems TV. Goodness, we've got a lot of channels now. But your deal today for these three strands of gemstones and your nine inch length of 95 settings of a chain is under £20. Now, the phone lines in the last few seconds, the web in the last few minutes has gone absolutely bananas for this. We knew it was going to be extremely popular. We knew that there were going to be a lot of people calling through. There was going to be a lot of people getting involved on the web as well. So for that reason, for that reason, we've taken it really, really, really nice and low. We've we've kind of left it to about almost halfway through the show to bring this incredible bundle to you. Get as many of these as you can. If you want to allocate more than one of these to your basket, just speak to the call centre on help and we'll certainly see what we can do. I can't remember the last time I bought you Peridot before today. You know, it just so happens that we've got two new, uh, two new Peridot strands um, today, which is absolutely brilliant. Bringing you Garnet as well in chain is very, very, very seldom seen on, uh, on, on Jewelry Maker, so that's absolutely wonderful. And of course, you've got your gorgeous rose quartz. Um, seen it um, a little bit more often on Jewelry Maker, but I have to say, all three of these together with the 95 settings of a heart-shaped chain is just incredible. Now, well over 100 of these have already been allocated, which I'm really, really, really pleased to see. And for less than 20 pounds, that is absolutely amazing. It's just incredible. Debbie, what do you think of this bundle? What do you think of the gems? Oh, I think they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I really do. And I think, you know, wedding seasons, bridesmaids, and, and for anybody who has got an outlet for wedding jewellery, mm -hmm. um, you know, stock up now. You can use it this year, you can use it next year. Can you imagine? 
how long it would take you to get each one of these gemstones and painstakingly attach them onto 95 sterling silver to make them into a chain. Yes, I do, because I did one of the oh, kits really? once. Remember, we had the kits with the tiny, tiny little rondelles, and we had silver, tiny silver right. ones. And we had to make, myself and Louise made some oh. chandelier earrings, and we had to, had to wire wrap every one. It took me hours. That's not going to do your eyes any good either, is it? It took me hours, really did. Oh, goodness so me. That's fantastic. It is, it is absolutely brilliant. And when, and when, and when, you know, when Debbie puts it like that, you know, it, it, it takes hours. If, if you want to create something like this, we've saved you all of that trouble. And today it's yours for less than £20. And the glory of these as well is you're not only going to be getting genuine um, 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 gem quality, genuine gemstones, but they're very, very light chains as well. So if you do want to make um, a layered bracelet, a layered necklace, and you want to use um, a number of these um, different chains, then go for it. It's hardly going to add any weight onto it. It's hardly going to add any weight onto, um, on, on, onto that design. Now, already well over half the quantity has already been allocated. That's well over 150 of these have already gone. It just, it just, it, it just kind of proves, I think, that how long a lot of you might have been waiting for a bundle like this. It is just incredible. The quality you're going to be getting, not, not just in the gemstones, but in the actual um, fitting together of these chains. I mean, if you look at just take one of these chains and just look at each individual link. How long do you think it has taken to fit each one of these individually faceted naps, which have been individually faceted, individually polished, individually drilled? How long do you think it's taken each one of these to be linked onto a 925 sterling silver head pin and then made into a chain? That's amazing, isn't it? Probably not three weeks, Ryan. Uh, but a very long time, less than £20, pounds, you're getting your natural garnet, you're getting your beautiful peridot, which is seldom seen on Jewelry Maker, and of course you're going, to getting, you're going to be getting your beautiful, light, airy, feminine rose quartz as well, and your 95 selling silver heart chain as well. I think that's absolutely wonderful, that's one of the I've seen for a long, 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 long time. Gorgeous. We've got less than a hundred of these available in the building now. There is a bit of a queue at the minute, but do you know what, the call centre is dealing really, really well with it at the minute doing really well with the queues that we're having today actually i haven't seen a queue longer than about a minute minute and a half so if you do want to give us a call just just go for it absolutely go for it and all get involved on our website which of course is jewelrymaker.com and it's only 295 pnp per order as well and you're going to be getting that 30 day money back guarantee so if you want to get this home you want to have a look at the beautiful gems you want to have a look at the quality if you're not 100 satisfied send it back we'll give you your money back but it's gorgeous now i'm really very excited we're gonna do some polymer clay yeah, I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. Now, I'm going to head on over to Debbie. Is that all right? Don't worry, Dee Dee. I'll wait for you, sweetie. I'm going to head on over to Debbie. Dee Dee, is this one of your first times on cameras? She's doing so well, isn't she? Very good. Dee Dee is amazing. She is, she is Miss Jewelry Maker, I think. She can produce. She can do, she can do uh, cameras. You, she, she, she makes her own jewelry. She's not even... <laughs> she's not listening to me. She's actually not listening to me. She's too busy concentrating. Absolutely, quite right. I was saying, Dee Dee, you are you are Miss Jewelry Maker because you do your own. Jewel, you make your own jewelry. You can do producing. You can do cameras. She's amazing, and she's a really lovely girl. Do you want to come and give us a wave to camera one? <laughs> camera one, just round here. She's so lovely, is our Dee Dee. Ah, <laughs> she's lovely. We love Dee Dee. Now, Debbie. This is awesome, isn't it? All this clay. Yeah. I've got the bug. I've been bitten by the polymer bug. I'm just, I'm in love with all of this. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Um, now, because um, the last pack of clay that we've just bought to you has now sold out because there have been so many people calling through for it and so many people on the web, we've actually um, really, really hurriedly shipped three more packs of clay down. Um, where, where should we start, Scott? So should we start off with the Jubilee one, perhaps? Yeah, I think I think it'd be, probably be a good idea. Now, this was the first this was the first clay pack that I ever ever came across, and it is just gorgeous. What do you think of this clay? I love it. I'll just cut into a couple of packets. No, 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 no sorry, that's fine. Don't worry about it. No, that's um, okay. I love it because of the glitter. The glitter is lovely. It's just beautiful, isn't oh, it's it? Absolutely beautiful. You're going to be getting three glittery blocks of clay here. You're going to be getting white, red, and blue. Do we sense a bit of a theme here? 
Just a little bit. The Jube Olympics, perhaps. <laughs> um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, sparkly, glittery um, uh, three-pack you're going to be getting here. This is just wonderful. It's very... It's a really nice glitter as well. It's not It's not kind of um, shards of, of, nope. of kind of... No, it's, it's glitter. Little... It's, it's self-coloured glitter. So the blue has like a pale blue glitter. Ooh. And the red has a sort of a red, pinky red glitter. And don't worry when you use the glitter because you'll finish your piece and your hands will probably be dirty and the top of your piece, you'll think that's not very glittery. Well, don't forget that when you take it out of the oven, you sand that top layer off. So then you go to the glitter oh. underneath, but the glitter actually rises to the surface a little bit. So you'll find oh. that it's far more glittery when you've baked it. Goodness me. So you're going to be getting three of your glittery packs. You're also going to be getting navy blue. Is this one a bit glittery as well? That's got like a, um, a granite. It's got a, got a little texture to it. But it, mm. no, it isn't actually glittery, but it is, it is lovely. It's lovely, that one. Yeah, it is a bit green. Really, really lovely. Look at this one. It's a, it's like a navy blue. Because oh. you can mix all sorts of things in polymer clay. Okay. You can mix peppercorns and oh goodness me. And all sorts. You've got white. You've also got red, which is called granada. That sounds very exotic. Which is like a really rich red, isn't it? And then you get more of an orangey red in this one here. This one won't have uh, no. a big chunk of clay taken out of it. No, no won't. Look at that, look at that, look at that. See, she can't help herself. She can't help herself. She has had a little nibble out of that one. And then this one here, <laughs> which is called um, Azure, uh, what, na what, Navy Blue. I was going to say Azure Marino, which is Navy Blue. And um, another one with a little bit taken out of there. But you will get all, all uh, of these packs, um, full packs. It's just £14.95p. Now, We've had lots of Wall of Fame entries and lots of emails in from um, um, from jewelry makers who've been making pieces for the Jubilee, for the Olympics. Um, have you been making any pieces at all for the Olympics? Or, or, or? I haven't actually, no. Have you not? No. Well, mind you, you've been busy enough making all these pieces, <laughs> haven't you? Goodness me. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I have made some little wire characters with little red, white and blue things, which I should be Ooh, showing probably gorgeous. next week. Gorgeous. But not actually to, to sell, no. But I think I think we've had we've had emails and pictures people who've been making um, everything from necklaces and, and beautiful macrame um, friendship bracelets to things like key fobs and key chains, oh, yeah. Union Jack ones. And you made you made some wonderful Union Jack designs, haven't you? Yes, I did. Which, which, which yeah, is I think just it was the, incredible. It was in the hub one yeah. a month, I think. Yes. Yeah, I think it is in the hub, actually. Yeah. So, what are we going to do this time, Debbie? Right, well, I'm busily getting ready here some petals to do the flowers. And you're going to make a flower with me. Oh, goodness me. The flowers look really... They look really... Intricate. No, they're not. Oh, no. They're not. They're not. They're I hope not. I'm not going to mess it up. Okay. No, 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 no. Right, okay. Right, I'm going to do two different designs, really. Okay. So, here I've just taken a tiny bit of red, and I really have taken a tiny bit. In fact, you probably can't see there's anything gone out of there. No, it's hardly anything been taken out. Less than a pea size with a um, big piece of white um, to make this pink. And I've done the same with the blue. I've just done a pale pink and pale blue. I've just mixed those two up just very quickly. Okay. So, um, two different ways of doing flowers. The first one is just to do uh, like a licorice all sort, is, is literally take your colour and wrap it in black clay, mm -hmm. okay, like that, which I cover on the Miller Fury course. And then if you wanted to put a stamen down the middle, you slice into the top and just open it up. So you've got like a, a gap in the middle, like mm -hmm. that, if I turn it around a bit. See, it's got the gap down yeah. there. And then you slice a piece of black clay. Whoops, it's gone really sticky. It's a really thin so piece of be black the clay. Of the... That's right. And then you just place Ooh. that in the middle of your cane mm -hmm. and close it up. Okay, and then just take off the excess it's with your fingers. Okay, so that's that's one petal. So that's the petal. That's the petal. I'll show you how it's to do amazing, it. It's amazing, isn't it? The second one, if you wanted more of a, um, a different sort of stamen in, in the middle, I'll show mm -hmm. you a technique. Now, I learnt this at the NEC, standing watching a lady, Birdie Hayward, who's anybody who's been at the NEC will know who Birdie I am. Birdie Hayward, what a lovely name. From Cornwall. <laughs> and I was fascinated by this. And all you do is you make a, a triangle and you push and you pull. And whatever colour you want the stamen to be, just keep pushing and pulling and it looks a real mess at the moment but you'll see what I mean in a minute. 
to do it sort of eight or nine times and it eventually starts to bleed down into the petal. I do this when I'm walking my dog. You do what? I do this when I'm walking my dog. I walk along. You walk doing around this. with bits of clay in your hand? Yeah, people wonder what on earth I'm doing. She's a stranger, Sometimes I do have people come she? up and say, excuse me, what, what, what do you do? <laughs> Mad woman in the park. <laughs> do it once more and then you'll see what I mean. It's just to bleed down. Now, I'd probably do it quite a few more times if I was at home. But to save you watching, can you see how the oh, colour is me. starting to bleed it's down? It's like a pansy. Yeah, like a pansy. You see that? See how it's starting to bleed yeah. down into the clay. Now, the more you do it, obviously, the more you get that feathering effect. Wow. Okay. It then becomes a petal. All right. Isn't that incredible? So, what we're going to do is to make the little flowers that are on that necklace. All right. So, if I cut you some little petals. Yeah, I'll get that necklace if you like. Okay. Can you reach? Behind you. Five. Now, Mother Nature does things in uneven numbers. So what I'm doing here is getting some petals ready for Carol. If I were to take a slice of that cane, I'd get the stamen in the middle and pinch it, okay? And then turn it over and just pull the petal back. So it looks like a petal, it's folded into a See that? Mm -hmm. Pinch it, turn Gosh. it over into a petal. Pinch the middle, turn it over into a petal. Right, that hasn't worked so well. Let's do another one. That's okay. It's because it's the first one, I, first one I cut and it's gone a bit thick. Right. Pinch it together. That's better. And turn it into petal. Right. You've got that one and I've got this one. So, again, I can do this while, um, while I show you. Two, three, four, five. You see the difference? You've then got just one stamen in the middle and you've got the colour around the outside. Gosh. Okay? Yes. Now, obviously you wouldn't have a blue flower normally, but you do the same, pinch and bend. Pinch in the middle and bend. Now, I haven't conditioned this terribly well, so it might start to crack. Yeah, it's starting to crack a little bit, but it'll be fine just for demo. Right, now, you want something to go on the inside. You want something for the uh, stamen in the middle. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab some black and white clay, just, just the scraps, really. Doesn't matter what it is, to be honest. And just twist it and make that into the stamen. Now, here we go, you can start to build your flower. You need to have a tiny little bit in the middle. If you follow me with your petals, right? So you take a petal, <laughs> take a petal, take the stamen, and just push it into the stamen. Okay, like that. Tiny, okay? And then turn it around and then place the next petal alongside it, just overlapping slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's it. And the next one. Mm -hmm. Anyone who does uh, cake making and does the flowers on top of cakes, you'll be well ahead at doing this. You'll be fantastic. It's gone very quiet. It has gone very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, and then when you've got your flower like that, see that the flower? Turn it over and just slice the back. And then, I've got these pins with me. Either using a pin or a cocktail stick, we just get a pin out of here. Look at my, look at that! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> so take the back of the flower okay. and just, um, Place your pin at mm -hmm. the back once you've sliced it off and just push it through and then bake that on the pin and then that can be the centre of a bracelet or something. So you've got to the stage now where you need to slice the back off. Okay. So turn it upside down. I'll do it for you, don't you slice your yeah, fingers. Go on then. You just slice the back off like that. And then you would just put it on that the pin. It's just gorgeous. And that could be put onto an earring or a bracelet or whatever. They look so delicate, they look so beautiful, don't they? They do, don't they? And here are some Amy here are some we made earlier. Yeah. Some of them I've mixed a tiny bit of gold to. You can see that it's gone a little bit dull. It's not actually like a bright peach. Mm -hmm. So that I've mixed a bit of gold in there just to sort of give it an antique sort of look. But they're very, very simple to do. Flowers are very but they're not. They're, yeah, actually, I was I, I was a little bit nervous about, about attempting these because I thought, goodness me, these are so delicate and so intricate and it looks like it's going to be quite difficult. But in actual fact, 
not, is it? It's not. No, no. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of having to go. I suppose the main the main thing which you've got to, which you've got to do is, is is incorporating the black with the pink to make the to make the stamen yeah. in the centre. Yeah, but you can just have a round. You know, you can just do a pink flower just with a pink piece of clay and a black centre. It's still looks still look as nice. These are plain Isn't clay, that gorgeous? See? Goodness me. Oh, I've, I've, oh, that's amazing. That really is brilliant. Can I show one other way of doing a flower? Please. Got, so, all right. So I've done some like that and some a different way on there. I've just noticed that. Yeah, I have. I've done some like you've done oh. it and some using a cutter. I've just remembered. Okay. Um, using the flower cutters that we sell. I should have found this earlier, shouldn't I? Using the flower cutters. Let me do a bigger one. It's my big box of cutters here. Goodness me. I know. I've got have you got enough in there? No, not really. So, <laughs> so using the flower cutters, another way of doing flower is just to cut the flower out of your desired colour, mm -hmm. clay, take it off, take a cocktail stick or something like that. I did have a cocktail stick, here we go, I've got some one. that's it, I've got one here. Boop. And literally just push your cocktail stick into the centre, lift the petals up around it and pull the petals down and you've got a flower. I mean, very, very simple. And that's how I did some of those on there, and then mm. just pushed a head pin through. So just, just push it into a flower. And that's a nice way of making bead caps as well. Yeah. Oh, yes, so I you bet. make your own bead caps and whatnot. Yeah. So put that down there. So and you've, and you've, and you've put a bit of texture on some of these ones as well. That's gorgeous. Oh, yes, I have, yeah. I forgot about that. Yes. Sorry. What you have to do is to do the texture of the flowers on the petals. Can you see that? Mm. You just use your cocktail stick and just make three stripes on every petal. Like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. So it makes it look more like a flower. I can just imagine. I'm glad you said like that. Little, I forgot about that. They're like little rosebuds, aren't they? Yeah. And a headband on a, on a flower girl. Mm. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. I'm glad you said that. I've forgotten all about them. Right. Nice. That is really, really, really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This, this is just this is just fascinating, isn't it? We've had a few. <laughs> we've had a couple of text messages through. Should we read them out? I think we probably should. Let's just see that one. I can't actually see that one. Do you want me to read it? Oh, here yeah. we go. You can read it. Uh, Joanne in Devon. Good morning, jewelry maker. Hi, Debbie. I've just tried to colour blend and all the colours have turned into one colour. What did I do wrong? You folded it please the wrong help. way. Uh, please help. Loving the show. Love, Joe from Devon. Sorry, interrupted there. Not at all. Folded it the wrong way. Uh, a lot of people do that. When you've got your triangle with your three colours, you fold it over and it blends and fold it over and it blends. And then if you were to fold it the other way, you're just putting the two colours together. You haven't got your stripes, you're putting the two colours together. Ah. And then if you fold it the wrong way, it will just end up one colour. Yes. And I know that because I've done it before. I haven't been concentrating and I put it through and I thought, oh, I'll start all over again. It just goes to one blend. But don't worry, use that blend to then put into your next Skinner blend. So whatever it is will then tone with the colours you were hoping to get. So just use it. Good. I wouldn't have even I wouldn't have even thought about that. That's a really it's a really good question, and because yeah. I would have just thought well, you can fold it anyway, and no, you know, but no. you can't do that, can no, you? No, you've got to fold it one way over over again the same way. Yeah. So if you want the horizontal stripes, you've got to do it that way and that that's way right. and that way. Because if you do it that way, yeah, Mate, just, yeah, just lose it otherwise. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a really really good question. Thank you very much for that, Jay. We, we've had another another text as well. Hi guys. I was nervous of using the clay, but love it now. Was making roses the other night uh, with a mould and was just amazed at what I had made. Think I will try with the Skinner blend to see how it turns out. We'll send in a picky of completed flower decoration, complete with candle, complete with candle, uh, when finished. Take care, Suzette. Are you making a candle holder? That will look really, really pretty. Would, and one it? thing you can do mm -hmm. is you can buy a pen from lots of stationers that's called a silver leaf pen and on every Ooh. every so often on the petal you can just catch the edge so it looks Ooh. like it's shining oh it looks pretty gorgeous really pretty. oh that sounds oh yes that sounds lovely a beautiful candle hot yeah that mm. would be gorgeous thank you very much for that debbie pleasure we've had another text as well we are popular uh, <laughs> yes he was in the party family debbie he sang could it be could it, could be, it be forever, forever? can you sing no i do know well i'm not no, going to no, sing no. anything anymore because because Debbie doesn't like my singing obviously <laughs> sorry the only one I can remember I wonder if Carol will know it uh, do you know what Kristen um, I'm, I might I might I might have a look on uh, a well-known uh, um, uh, video website and I might I'm actually try and learn it and, uh, and, and sing it for just for you yeah. serenade you <laughs> 
<laughs> now, oh, we've coming um, coming up in just a few seconds. We've got rose quartz. Um, the quality of this, the colour of this, is just beautiful. Look at this. Uh, the Peridot, which we bought to you um, about half an hour ago, has at the minute all been allocated. We've got rose quartz coming up in just a couple of seconds. Please don't go anywhere. We've got more polymer clay. We've got some gorgeous, gorgeous rose de France amber. All coming up in just a couple of seconds. Do you make jewellery as a hobby? Would you like to learn key skills to help you successfully market and sell your handmade jewellery? We are working with Angela Edwards, who is an experienced jewellery maker as well as a small business trainer, to bring you the perfect course to help develop basic business skills. The full course includes how to create a business plan to successfully sell your products, how to access current and potential customers, how to identify and profile your target market, how to generate leads to secure current and future sales, how to use online social networking to your advantage, and key knowledge on legal requirements and insurances. For information about dates and to reserve your place, please contact 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. I love Jewelry Maker because they have fantastic natural gems. They're excellent value for money. It's a really enjoyable ho hobby. And I love the uh, workshops too. So it's given me a new career. So life begins at 50 now, thanks to Jewelry Maker. Add to your collection with our Silver Art Clay DVD full of handy tips and instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Natalia Coleman in her step-by-step -step guide to make this glamorous inner goddess pendant, featuring a variety of different techniques that will help you develop your skills. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. I had a choice. Um, I could either look at that David Cassidy song or I could eat a custard cream. I went for the custard cream in the end. <laughs> Can I be honest with you? I went for the biscuit option. Um, if it's between food and uh, food and even singing, which you know I'm, I'm extremely uh, talented at, then uh, if food, in, uh, food and a glass of wine. Oh, that's a tough. That's a tough one. That's a tough call. Probably the wine. <laughs> Probably the wine. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Rose quartz. Now, we bought you the Peridot a little bit earlier on. That has all been allocated at the minute. Um, I've got the rose quartz version now. The quality that we've got here is just unbelievable. Um, and this is a direct result of, of, of Paula, who is uh, Le Grand Fromage, um, going over to China a couple of weeks ago and, and finding, finding these incredible, incredible strands. They've been very, very difficult for us to get hold of. Um, these literally have only just arrived um, um, in the country, I think yesterday afternoon. Um, and it's just a joy to be able to bring them to you now. Gorgeous rose quartz here. And uh, uh, the chain bundle that we've already bought you today. Think about the kits that we've already shown you today. The polymer clay, which Debbie's already showed us today. This would just go beautifully with so many of today's features. It would also go really well with the Rose de France Amethyst I'm going to be bringing you. In fact, I'll give you a quick flash of it, but I won't. Here you are. Which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so. As far as far as quality um, goes with this particular strand, just like the Peridot, we're looking at gemstone quality um, gemstones here. It's not to take anything away from B quality gemstones at all. Sometimes with B quality gemstones, you tend to get um, maybe, uh, you know, really, really fantastic carrot weight, but maybe the colour isn't as vibrant, the colour isn't as strong, perhaps. With these beautiful rose quartz, as I'm sure you can see here, this is the kind of quality of rose quartz that we would set into uh, rings, earrings, pendants on our sister channels, um, um, 
here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. So, so no qualms about that at all. To work with gemstones which are this kind of size, very, very difficult. And especially when we want to give you a really precise size and shape, even more so. We've got to make sure that the quality of the gemstone is there. We've got to make sure the clarity and the colour are both really, really present as well. And we've got to make sure, obviously, that the size and the shape of the gemstone is going to be, is going to be uniform throughout the strand as well. There's no point giving you nuggets here. They've got to all be um, the right kind of size and shape. These, these have all been hand-faceted, hand-drilled, and really, really, really highly polished. This particular strand is, has actually come over from India. I do beg your pardon, but I think it was actually of our um, uh, uh, Chinese um, 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 uh, relations over there who we work really, really, really closely with. It's a brand new strand for you today, absolutely brand new, and it is already starting to fly out the door. Now, with regards to what gemstones this, this incredible strand will go with, I think anything from your Rose de France Amethyst to, your, uh, to the Perillo that we just bought to you, to your Smoky Quartz, to your Black Onyx, it really is. And I think that you will find with lots of, um, uh, with lots of members of the Quartz family, they are so unbelievably versatile. Now, these are already starting to go on the web and on the phone lines. What price did we take the Perillo down to? Did we really? $24.95 was the price we took the Perido down to. You'd have thought the Rose Quartz would be the same price, wouldn't you? In actual fact, this brand new strand is under £20. We are giving you a we are giving you such a strand of rose quartz here. And it is gemstone quality. You're going to be getting, does that say a hundred carats? A hundred carats of rose quartz, gemstone quality rose quartz, high quality rose quartz, the kind of rose quartz that you to see set maybe into um, um, into maybe a beautiful tiara, something with a real sense of occasion. Save this for something which is really, really, really special, whether it's a wedding, whether it's going to be maybe a prom, whether it's going to be a black tie do, because you really want to make the most of an incredible strand like this. I mean, look at the way that gorgeous, gorgeous just it's, it's just absolutely superb, isn't it? With a strand like this, the world really is your oyster. You know, the sky's the limit. Um, Debbie, with, with, with rose quartz like this, sorry, I know you're busy over there at the minute. Um, what do you think of the rose quartz being in this kind of little cube shape? Because normally rose quartz kind of lends itself to nuggets or something a bit more, a bit more feminine um, with size and shape. But these are kind of small, perfectly formed cubes. Well, I think they'd be quite nice as quite a funky tiara rather than having the little rounds. I think they'd yeah. really catch the light, actually. Yeah, I think you're right. And for, um, do you know what I'd like to do with those? I'd like to put two or three in a band on a ring. Ooh. They would look really, really pretty, actually. Really Just pretty. Just a really simple little trilogy ring. Yeah, really lovely. Wouldn't that be um, gorgeous? Yeah, you really could, yeah, you could do that, couldn't you? You could simply take just three of these gemstones, because they are all small and beautifully perfectly formed. You could literally just get three of them, pop them in a trilogy design. The light is going to love these. Actually, do you know what? I've just noticed, separating these out from the rest of the gemstones, how much they glow, actually. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You, look at those gems glow. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful glowing rose quartz here. And do you know what, Debbie, you are so right. Popping just three of these in the centre of a ring. Do you know what? Really was some... pretty, wouldn't it? Look at that. Why not? Isn't that gorgeous? Really pretty. And you could, and you could use, of course, your silver um, 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 uh, wire. You could use some. You, you, you could actually use coloured wire with that as well. Maybe with some pearls as well. With that, that'd be gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful quality gemstone quality rose quartz. Yours today for less than twenty pounds. Like I say, strands like this are not easy for us to get hold of because here at. Um, jewelry maker we tend to we tend to focus more on uh, the b quality gemstones so we can bring you the huge huge gemstones like the strand i'm going to bring you in just a second um, rather than trying to go for the really 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 what what many people would consider to be the really high-end gemstone quality gemstones like you're going to be getting here to be able to bring this to you for less than 20 pounds as well goodness me there must have been some serious kind of um some, some serious work um uh, to kind of negotiate a price like this because that is absolutely wonderful isn't it what a gorgeous strand well done to you my darlings now well over half the quantity is already gone oh we're actually down to the last 10 Goodness me, we're down to the last 10 already. I hope we get some more of these in. If it's only for your sake, Debbie, so you can actually get some of these when you're actually at home. Yes. <laughs> Goodness me, because that is just gorgeous, isn't it? Really? 
No. If you miss out on any of these, I've just been told by uh, Scott, Scott's eyes have just, your eyes have just lit up in there. Um, we've got, can I say, can I say what we've got? We've got tanzanite and spinel coming up tomorrow. That's a bit exciting, isn't it? Who's presenting the show tomorrow daytime? Can I not do it? <laughs> can I do it, please? Vicky, if you're watching, can I present tomorrow morning, please? <laughs> Have you ever get to see tanzanite on jewelry maker? How do you ever get to see spinel on jewelry maker? Black spinel, goodness me, that'd be gorgeous. So well into all of you, my diamonds, hold those lines. S still got a, 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 a couple of genuine chances available in the building now. Well done, absolutely beautiful, well done to you. Right, now, speaking of amazing genuine gemstones, when I saw this strand, or when I actually saw an, another strand of this gemstone last night, I honestly couldn't believe my eyes because, what do you think this looks like? Just, 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 what, what do you think it looks like? Pinky purple gemstone. Personally, I think it looks like kunzite. Personally, I think it looks like um, the kind of colour you get in sharite, but obviously sharite is an opaque gemstone. I think it looks like a strand of kunzite, Maui kunzite um, in particular, which is from Afghanistan. This, in actual fact, isn't kunzite. This is Rose de France lavender amethyst. It is absolutely gorgeous. I adore this gorgeous, gorgeous strand. Amethyst is an amazing gemstone um, and for many, many different reasons. In amethyst, you get lots and lots and lots of different colours. You can get everything from black current colours to kind of almost to blacks actually, all the way through to kind of pinky purples. There's, there's a strand of amethyst there with lots and lots of different colours in it. This particular strand of, of lavender amethyst has not only been um, has not only been really polished, but it's also been faceted. So you get this gorgeous kind of um, sugary lavender kind of colour. It's just delicious, it's absolutely beautiful. With the polymer clay flowers that Debbie and I were making just a few seconds ago, I think this would look absolutely beautiful. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. We've also bought you a slightly larger strand here. This is un faceted but still highly polished lavender amethyst now we've only bought you kunzite on jewelry maker a handful of times i think you really are getting the closest you can get to on jewelry maker in these couple of strands here the colors are absolutely beautiful uh, now these strands are not available individually on our website. So um, you want these couple of strands, then you can come and get this bundle because there is actually another strand here and it is blue agate. Blue, um, looks like blue lace agate. It's just gorgeous. So not only are you going to be getting this gorgeous blue color, but you're also going to be getting a beautiful um, set of mineral inclusions going all the way through this strand as well. Can you see the gorgeous, the gorgeous little um, bands you've got going through these? They're four millimeter plain rounds here. So perfect for your beady beads. Um, perfect to make, um, as Debbie suggested last night on the late show actually, to make gemstone links out of, which I think is a great idea when you've got a strand like this. Um, those colours are just so calming and soothing. Isn't that beautiful? It's a gorgeous strip pack, don't you think, um, don't, don't you think Debbie? Think it's really delicate, it's pretty, it's lovely. Mm. It would look great with some smoky quartz, wouldn't it? Oh yes, that'd be lovely. With some smoky quartz. And do you know what, I think that with, with the kit you had earlier on, where we assumed that the kit would come with silver plated findings, you probably assume, oh yes, well we put silver findings with this, but do you know what? I can see this with yellow gold plated findings, with rose gold plated findings. I think it would, because it, it, they're such warm colours. Yeah, it looked quite regal actually, wouldn't it, with the gold? Oh yeah. Really lovely. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a wonderful bundle here. Now we do have um, lots and lots of interested parties on the phone lines, which is great to see. Maybe because it is, it is kind of a, it is it is kind of a very soft kind of maybe a maybe a kind of a, a wedding a wedding bundle maybe it's something which would be great for bridesmaids but great for flower girls what kind of a price do you think would be great for this three strand um, uh, bundle you're going to be getting such a gorgeous 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 soft gentle lavender color here beautiful rose de france amethyst and like i say that one color going all the way through those um, both those strands of amethyst is very 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 difficult to achieve indeed your price today, 
it's under 20 pounds it's 17.95 absolutely wonderful you've got your three really 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 high quality strands here now with regards to the amethyst we've gone for that color we've gone for that gorgeous rose de france pinky purpley shade we haven't necessarily gone for the clarity but we've gone for the carrot weight we've gone for the color and we've gone for consistent color as well consistent color all the way through this strand it's just absolutely beautiful i love it i think it's really 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 stunning and with those gorgeous light baby blue um blue lace agates i think that looks absolutely gorgeous less than 18 pounds i can't remember the last time i saw a three strand pack um, um with with kind of these lavender colors and in fact, thinking about it, I think the only other strands which I've ever seen with this kind of lavender colour is probably something like Chinese Jade, um, which, which is absolutely beautiful, but you get that block of colour with Chinese Jade, whereas with this, yes, you are going to be getting the consistent colour all the way through the amethyst, but you're actually going to be getting the texture. You, 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 you can actually see the, in, the internal structure of each one of these gemstones. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful frosty shades in here. This would look great maybe with some, um, with some cracked quartz, with some smoky quartz. I've got some smoky quartz and crack quartz here, actually. How amazing is that? Look at this. Coming up in our next kit, actually. Isn't that look gorgeous? With smoky quartz and with cracked quartz. Doesn't that look great? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So there's a lot of people on the phone lines there. Well done. Do hold those lines. Um, there's a lot of people interested there, which is great to see. There's about a minute and a half queue on the phone lines. And so, so we will answer your call as soon as we can. Uh, we're extremely busy this morning. You know, we, we knew we were going to be very busy um, because of the polymer clay, because of the brand new kits that we've got. And also some of these bundles, well, all of the bundles are absolutely delicious today, aren't they? They're just gorgeous. Well done to you, my darlings. Do hold those lines. If you do miss out for this bundle, there are still some of those available, but if you do miss out, we've actually got some more lavender amethyst coming your way a little bit later on uh, towards the end of the show with um, gorgeous uh, fluorite as well. Okay, now. Ooh, is, is this a kit? Brilliant. I was going to say, what's it called? Stash Staple. Do you name this kit, Debbie? No, not mine. I reckon she did. I, re I, reckon, I reckon Debbie might have named it, but she knows that I take the mickey out of all the names of the kits. No, no, I didn't name it. It's got like pink in it. The light. Sorry? It's got pink in it. Would I really name something no. with pink in No, no, you probably wouldn't, do you? No. no. It's like that bit <laughs> in the life of Brian, where, um, are there any men here? No, 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 no. Have you, <laughs> I haven't seen that movie for ages. It's so funny. Oh, goodness, the life of Brian. So funny. Love. <laughs> he's not the Vasari, he's a very naughty boy. So funny. <laughs> that was a really bad impression, anyway. Oh, funniest film ever? What do you reckon, Ryan? Anchorman is very funny. Airplane. 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 Oh. Have we had an airplane off? Have we done loads of the kind of uh, lines to each other? The hospital, what is it? It's a big building with lots of sick people. That's not important right now. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but surely you can't be serious. I am serious. Don't, Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great movie. I love it. Oh, Leslie uh, Nielsen. Didn't he, he died last year, didn't he? That was terrible. Did he? Yeah, he died of um, pneumonia, wasn't it? So it was a terrible, such an amazing guy. Right, staple stash. Don't know how he got into funny movies, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Funny name. Just ignore the name. Just focus on the gemstones. Should we talk about the gemstones in this, Debbie? Because there are the most, three of the most versatile gemstones on the planet in this, in this kit, aren't Absolutely, there? yes, absolutely. You've got, of course, your black, well, I say of course, you've got your black onyx here. Easily, well, it's right up there in my top five gemstones, my top five most versatile gemstones. Um, beautiful faceted rondelles, which will go beautifully with the um, challenge which we set for Debbie touched on your challenge yet because we have given Hardly. you a lot to do today no don't worry about it Deb. we've given you so much to deal with today um so gorgeous black onyx faceted rondelles here which are three by six millimeters in diameter you've then got smoky quartz faceted puffy coins here 10 millimeters in diameter the most unbelievable genuine gemstone and i know that debbie um, is a huge 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 fan of this gem can't wait to see how she's used these beautiful uh, faceted puffy coins here and you've got gorgeous cracked, um, crackle quartz, fa goodness me, crackle quartz frosted faceted rounds. We need to have a word with management, don't we? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Crackle quartz frosted faceted rounds. It's a good job I went to drama school and took elocution lessons. 
Um, you're going to be... I didn't really, but I went to drama school. Totally wasted it, though. Just drank. Um, so you're going to be getting three gorgeous strands here. So versatile, so beautiful. I would call these your three essential strands for your stash, which I think is probably what it's called, stash staple. You're then going to be getting... This is a really, really gorgeous addition to this kit. Really, really gorgeous addition to this kit. You're going to be getting um, ribbon. Now, 10 fuchsia pink organza ribbons. Look at these. These are just delicious. I've seen these ribbons used in so many different ways by guest designers. Everything from making beautiful little kind of Alice band headbands and to making beautiful big kind of corsage ruffs as well. It, it, can, it can look really, really, really beautiful. If you think about it, maybe asymmetrically on a necklace just here, having a big kind of corsage ruff, maybe with um, smattering of gemstones, maybe on some wire. It, it's just gorgeous. You're gonna be getting um, uh, 10. Oh no, you're gonna be getting 10 of these? Ooh. 50 ten. meters. Oh, uh, no, hang on. 10 fuchsia gift bags. 10 fuchsia gift bags. 10 meters of your ribbon. <laughs> Goodness me. 10 meters of your ribbon. 10 fuchsia gift bags. Thank you, Debbie. These are the big gift bags as well. These are gorgeous. These are absolutely awesome. And do you know what's great about these? If you are one of our many jewellery makers who makes pieces of jewellery and then sells them on, if you were maybe to sell a stretchy bracelet uh, for, oh, I don't know, five pounds, and you had somebody who wanted to buy one, and they said, oh, have you got any gift bags? So, oh, yes, I can add a gift bag onto your order for, a, for just a pound. Put, put the stretchy bracelet in here, add a pound onto their order. You know, it, 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 you can use it to make a little bit of money as well. These are also fantastic. Um, stuff full of uh, potpourri, put in your drawers. Yeah, why not? Or the, and they just make great little, um, uh, great little um, alternatives to wrapping paper as well. They're, they're really, really, really beautiful. I love these organza gift bags. And as Debbie said last night, actually, they're not they're not cheap to buy. Can you get them from craft centres? I assume you can. Yes, you can. Usually, usually in the wedding section from craft centres, but they're not cheap mm. at all. Speaking of weddings, actually, these are great if you wanted to put, um, put wedding favours in here as well. Sugar oh, yeah, almonds. That'd or, be nice. Yeah, yeah. Or gemstones. Did you really, Ollie? Did you? What a gorgeous sight! Ah, oh, that's lovely. Um, Ollie got married. Ollie got married a couple of years ago. Was it a couple of years ago? Ollie got married last year, and as wedding favours, he put um, gemstones in in organza bags with little um, with a little scroll describing the healing properties of each of the gemstones, and gave them away as uh, wedding favours. Isn't that a gorgeous idea? Yeah, that's lovely. Lovely idea. Now, in this kit, you're going to be getting. Um, 925 stunning silver findings, okay? So you're going to be getting 925 stunning silver findings in this kit. Um, eye pins, head pins, uh, you're going to be getting your uh, bolt ring clasps and jump rings, your jump, um, your uh, crimp beads and your uh, shepherd's hook earring findings as well. Now normally that is where we would say, right, okay, that is the kit. You're going to be getting even more. You're going to be getting um, uh, ribbon endings here. Which I'm sure these are fairly self-explanatory, but you basically put the, um, one end of the ribbon in there, one end in there, and then you close it on top of the ribbon. You've got a little extender chain on there as well, which you can use. Um, you're going to be getting one, two, how many of these? One, two, th one, two, three, four of these. Are these 925 something silver? They feel like they are. Yeah, I was going to say, they feel really, really heavy. They feel like they are silver. Um, and then, this is awesome, you're going to be getting your beading thread. You're also going to be getting your purple coloured beading thread your um, clear elastic and your pink elastic as well. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is a really, really fantastic kit incorporating beautiful, beautiful strength of colour um, with really, really, really versatile strands. Now individually, really, that oh, that's interesting, about 60 or 70 pounds individually. If you priced all these up, um, separately and then you added them together um, on our website it would cost you about 60 to 70 pounds um, i think a lot of that is going to be the stunning silver findings um, and of course uh, the quality of the gemstones as well is very 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 high here as well now for you today we have taken the price even lower than where we were going to be taking it would you like to see an amazing deal today 27.95 
think about what you're getting here. 10 of your gift bags, all of these um, spools of elastic beading wire. Um, you're going to be getting your, um, your 95 sterling silver finings. You're going to be getting your 95 sterling silver cord endings. You're going to be getting meters and meters and meters of your organza ribbon. You're going to be getting your 10 organza gift bags as well and your large and small gift bag as well. And that's all for less than 30 pounds. I can't wait to see how Debbie has used the ribbon. I can't wait to see how she's used the smoky quartz as well. It really is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kit. I've got a lot of people who are allocating this themselves on the website and on the um, and on the um, on the phone lines as well. It's just lovely to be able to bring you a kit where you're not just going to be getting beautiful genuine gemstones and really versatile genuine gemstones, but you're also going to be getting injections of colour, include um, but but not coming from gemstones, coming from things like the organza gift bags, things like the organza ribbon. It's just, it's just gorgeous. And of course, the beading elastic and the beading thread as well. Is this beading thread or is it actually wire? It is beading thread, isn't it? This beading thread's awesome. Feels like, yeah, it's just really, a really gorgeous colour, isn't it? It kind of, it kind of, it, 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 it has a, it has a kind of funny feel to it. Is it a lot more kind of, um... It's got like a waxy feel to it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's awesome. Can't wait to see how Debbie's used this as well. Um, so we have, um, well, we're already down to double figures of this, which is which is hardly surprising. You know, it's a fantastic kit and a really, really, really great price for you today as well. What a gorgeous quality. And I love it that, that we've put these really, really versatile strands, these really beautiful versatile strands with really, really, really striking colours. I can't, oh, this ribbon is just gorgeous as well. It is wonderful. I've seen guest designers use it in so many different ways. Everything, like I say, from making um, bows on, uh, bows on um, uh, fascinators to, oh, is Debbie showing us a technique with the ribbon? Oh, that's gonna be great. We're gonna see that in just a couple of seconds as well. Um, so, a really, really, really fantastic deal there. Um, congratulations to every single one of you who's already got involved on the web, on the phone lines. And think about what other gemstones you wanna put with this. Maybe some pink banded agate. Maybe you wanna put some heb um, uh, 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 some hematite. Maybe, in fact, the lavender amethyst. Cause do you know what? I think that would go really beautifully with this kit. Do you know what? Look at that. What do you think? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girly, uh, girly colours there. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we're going to be catching up with Debbie in just a couple of seconds, um, um, seeing a fantastic, fantastic technique actually incorporating the ribbon, which is going to be absolutely wonderful. Gorgeous, gorgeous kit there. Don't go anywhere. We're going to catch up with Debbie in just a couple of seconds. Join Jewellery Maker on Monday the 16th of July for our advanced beading show with guest designer Cherry Green. You can now keep in touch by following Jewellery Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. Want to learn more about silver clay? Then why not come and join us on our silver clay course? Join professional art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she guides you through the techniques of handling, shaping, forming and firing silver clay. Then you'll be given the chance to design and create your own jewellery, which you can take home. During the course of the day you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and take a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes 20 grams of art clay, use of all relevant tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments, all for £89. For details on course dates and availability, contact our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Add to your collection with our Sculpey Clay Projects DVD, full of handy tips and hints for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she teaches us how to create the Skinner Blend technique, how to use the extruder tool, how to make a three-part necklace and much more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. What a gorgeous kit. Debbie, what do you think of all of this? Well, the, the gemstones you can actually put with any colour. Just because they've been put with pink doesn't mean you have to use pink. You know, I'm not, not a great fan of pink because of my hair colour. Don't wear it. Mm -hmm. But you could put any colour with this, any colour at all. So I don't think you have to use, you know, the kit. Which is why I've done the polymer clay in different colours. Yeah. 
I thought rather than just keeping to the pink, I thought I'd do something completely different. So mm -hmm. that's why I've done the beautiful smoky quartz, etc. but put some blue with it. That smoky quartz is beautiful, isn't it? Um, because of the pack that I was given to use, I said the spring pack. I just think that's ever so pretty. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Using those beautiful, beautiful blues. And, and it, 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 it's a totally, and, and, and this is what I think, this is where I think polymer clay is really, what, one thing it's really, really shown us today is, is when you start to incorporate polymer clay, you can have a totally different looking kit. You can, and you don't have to use it as a feature bead. Don't think because you've got polymer clay, you have to make pendant after pendant after pendant. It can yeah. just be a spacer bead. You might run out of black onyx and think I need some more black beads and just do some black rounds. Mm. You, know, you just use it as spacers sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does make things go a lot further and you can change the colours and the look of the kit. Yeah, yeah, you really, really can do. And it's gonna, it's gonna um, allow your jewelry to be even bigger, even better. But, but obviously, but obviously not, not have that um, massive weight which sometimes gemstones no, can add. That's right. This, this bead's lovely, isn't it? I think Ryan really likes this one. You like this that's one, don't you, Ryan? That's the swirl that you did earlier. It's a swirl. Ah! Yep. Is it making your eyes go funny, Ryan? <laughs> like a Dalek dude. It is absolutely awesome. Oh. It's like, it's like something from a, uh, from the cover of the Beach Boys or something, it isn't is. it? It's just really <laughs> it psychedelic. Is. Absolutely gorgeous though, isn't it? And that was just a swirl technique that we did earlier on. Yes, just with a leftover piece of cane. It's amazing what you can make even with your leftovers. Oh, well, I, every time I do a workshop, I always say, you know, you, you'd spend all day mm. making a cane and then you get all the scrap clay and mm. you twist it together and it looks far better than what you spent all day making. <laughs> it's really frustrating. I was just, I was just thinking of my, I was thinking of my <laughs> mum actually, who would slave away making Sunday, yeah. Sunday dinner. She'd slave away all day, thinking, oh, I've got to make a beautiful Sunday dinner, it's got to be a gorgeous family dinner. And we'd all sit around, we'd all eat it, and then we'd have the leftovers the next day and yeah. they'd taste even better. I know, they <laughs> do, it's, don't they? It's the kind of way it is, though. Yeah. This is absolutely beautiful, though. Oh, nice. Doesn't that look awesome? Doesn't that look gorgeous? I love the way you've used those, um, standing them up rather than having them flat. Yeah. Um, the, um, the beading thread, talk to me about the, uh, the purple colour beading thread. It's quite waxy. In mm. fact, one tip I would say, and I didn't have a chance to do this, if you do use the beading thread and you use it on uh, a pendant, the only problem with polymer clay is it's not very heavy. Now that's a good thing and a bad thing. Um, I would have weighted this down, probably wet it a little bit and weighted it down because it's twisting. Or, a good tip, I put curtain weights inside my pendants. No, I know Natalia does that, yeah. Yeah, and it just weights down the pendant so it pulls the cord straight because with yeah. some of the leather cords and suede cords, they don't sit right with the polymer mm -hmm. clay. Mm -hmm. But this, this thread is lovely. It has got a waxy finish to it. You probably it reminds, can't see on it the It reminds black, me a little bit of um, a horse's hair. Yes. Which is kind of like a waxy feel about yeah. it. Yeah. But this this is quite a dramatic colour and I think it's really nice. I love that. It's not too pink for me. That's a purpley pink. Yeah, it's a nice kind of lovely colour. In fact that would go with the um, with the polymer clay you incorporated into the other kit where you would start to introduce purple. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, purple gorgeous. or turquoises or anything like that that would go. Now you've used the ribbon beautifully here. Um in both cases, these are absolutely gorgeous. And and I, I would never have thought about using ribbon as a spacer bead, but it's exactly what you've done here, which is just got, just kind of concertinaing it. That's right. Um, it, it's 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 just gorgeous. Um, could you could you show us how you do that? I will do. I Please. will do. Yes, uh, I that'll will be do. Lovely to see that. Right. Um, I've started this off, and I've just started it off just with a, uh, a jump ring, and popped a crimp bead onto the end, move those out of the way, a crimp bead onto the end of my piece of uh, beading thread and then threaded on a bead, okay, like that. And then I've threaded on a piece of, um, of ribbon, let me show you how to do that. Now this, this beading thread has got, I think it's seven strands of, of wire coated in plastic. Because of that it's like a needle. So it should be strong enough to go through your ribbon. Now, saying that, I've been just done those two, they've gone through perfectly. Mm -hmm. There we go, it's gone through, you see that? Mm -hmm. So you should literally be able to just sew. Now if you do have a problem, you just use a darning needle and thread the beading thread onto the darning needle as you would cotton mm -hmm. and uh, to push that through. There we go, oops, do it once more. There we go, and push that down the thread. Now I haven't got a pair of scissors here, so I've had to use, and the scissors are a bit blunt, so I've had to use the, um, the 
wire cutters. So I apologise about the ends of my ribbons because they're very tatty. Uh, but I, I just cut uh, lengths of ribbon at home and I measured them and then and cut them afterwards just to, to um, get them all a uniform size. That's lovely, isn't it? But ever I, so simple. I love seeing fabric in, um, incorporated into jewellery. You know when you get... Yeah. Um, I don't know whether it's using clay or... or, or using, but have you ever seen... Um, fabric that's been wrapped around a bead. Yes, yes. It, it they're really looks, popular at the moment. It looks beautiful, there's, doesn't it? For this winter, there's lots of what they call mixed media coming in. There's, there's an awful lot of um, sewn collars onto felt, all beaded. Ooh. Um, and there's a lot of mixed media jewellery with um, paper beads, with fabric mm. beads. I think people are now thinking, I've got to recycle. Mm -hmm. and I think that's the thing mm. with the economy as it is at the moment. They're thinking I have to recycle and people are pushing people to, to think of other things. Mm. So they're reusing things. Button jewellery is very popular. Oh, yeah. Which is why I've done this um, bracelet here, yeah, which is literally just discs of polymer clay. And I've just threaded the, the ribbon in and out. You can do those with buttons. And that, here are the flowers you've just made, look, see? I was just going to come to these yeah. flowers, they look absolutely gorgeous. In fact, some of them look a little bit like butterflies. It's just <laughs> gorgeous. Such a pretty, pretty design. Really tactile, it's just, it, it just looks so, it just looks so, oh look at this little charm. You well, can make your own the, polymer that, clay that's charms. That's right, that's with a scrap clay, just, just oh. use up the little bits and make your little charms to match what you've just made. And, and we can't actually, well, um, you've made you made a beautiful charm to go on the organza bags as well, which again could be your price tag. Could be could could be your price tag. So yeah. I've left it black on the back because you can use um, a silver or a gold pen then on the back and put your price on. Ha! Huh. That's fantastic. And you just attached it on with a jump ring, haven't you? That's right. And then I didn't this, finish this. It's just gorgeous. Look at this. No, I didn't finish it. I actually used the the chains from the extension chains. Um, from the um, ribbon ending. Isn't there. that beautiful? And I meant to put it onto a brooch back or attach it onto another piece of chain and make it into a long necklace, and I just didn't have a chance to finish it. But anyway, I thought I'd bring it anyway. <laughs> so those are using the same colours as well. That could be that could be a brooch, that could be on a um, on a hair slide, could it, actually, could, it yes. could be a necklace yeah. as you suggested. It's just gorgeous. If I turn it over, you can see I've just embedded the chain. I've just put a piece of scrap clay over the top, just another leaf and then ah. just bait it so that's how to, to attach it to a piece of chain so you just you can get a long piece of chain and just add lots of polymer clay beads and bake it and it's already on the chain it's just gorgeous so. you could even incorporate that with the ribbon couldn't you i suppose you oh, can yeah. maybe make a ribbon won't won't burn either ribbon or cord oh, ri ah. ribbon's okay you bake oh. it at such a low level it's not even on on my camping oven there isn't a 120 on mine it's mm -hmm. not even on the register so it's, it's very this really cool. is an awesome, an awesome, awesome, awesome kit. And I love the way you've incorporated clay with this. I love how you've used the ribbon as well. Um, and it just shows the versatility of all mm. these gemstones. You can go really, really beautiful and pink, or you can go really, really nice and um, and, and nice and beautiful and, um, and and cool with those beautiful blues as well, just incorporated, just, just introducing uh, the polymer clay into these gorgeous designs. It's a really, really wonderful kit. I do love this. But it and shows yours. that you can use different colours, doesn't it, really? Yeah. Just with these gemstones will go with everything. Absolutely. Yeah. It really is your staple colours, I think, in your kit. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. Um, some of the most versatile gemstones. It's a really, really gorgeous kit. And, and for less than £30, absolutely wonderful as well. So you're going to be getting your organza gift bags. You're going to be getting your um, your organza ribbon. You're going to be getting your beading print, which Debbie's used beautifully in this um, kind of uh, long plaited design. Um, and, of course, your elastic. Did you use the elastic at all? Um, do you know, I don't think I did in the end. There was so much else to use. No, I know, I know. And the, the bags, I'll just say these bags are a fantastic size because the little ones sometimes are just good for earrings. Mm -hmm. But these are good for necklaces. You know, some of the bags are just too tiny to get things in, but they're a good size bag. Yeah, you're going to be getting 10 of those as mm. well. That's absolutely great. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour as well. Yeah, all for 27 95 That's right, it's gone. So, we've <laughs> got our Wall of Fame coming up now, haven't we? Wall of Fame coming up in just a couple of seconds, and then we've got another brand new bundle. We're going to be doing some more polymer clay. Yeah. It's all, it's all go here. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Wall of Fame coming up in just a couple of seconds. Now, I've got number 395 here. Oh, I like that. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I was waiting to see um, a design incorporating this gorgeous uh, blue uh, 
fire agate. And love Here's it. my entry for this week's uh, Wall of Fame. A bracelet made with jewellery maker blue fire agate barrels and blue satin cord. Gorgeous design. I'm having a great fun trying out the many techniques and products now on offer from jewellery maker. And I can't think what I did before I discovered this channel. Uh, it's just a shame... Um, that work gets in the way. Keep smiling. That's from uh, Christine Summers in Hampshire. P.S. I hope this reaches you okay as the last couple of entries I sent didn't, uh, I didn't get the automated reply. It's confirmation. Fingers crossed. Well, Christine, I've got it here. Hopefully you will get that um, uh, um, reply and hopefully you'll win. Number 395 there. That's a gorgeous design. Beautiful. This is number 392. This is Kath in St. Helens. Um, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame this week. It's white and bronze potato pearls. Which is um, I made the chain links out of um, 0.6mm silver wire and all the findings from JM, of course. Loving the new kits and bundles. So much value for money. I don't know how you keep your prices so low. Nor do we. Um, are you going to start selling bead scoops again? Ooh. You didn't know what was inside. It was so exciting. Ooh, I don't know. Good luck with the new studio. Can't wait to see it from Kath in St. Helens, number 392. That is gorgeous. I don't know, we, we might have to start doing these scoops again because they are really, really popular. They are. I've got 394 here, some beautiful greens in here. This is from Vicky. Good morning, jewelry maker. I, have, I haven't sent anything for a while, so I hope this makes the wall of fame. It's made from one of your pearl bee boxes, and I've graduated the colours a la Mark Smith from dark green to apple green, and all the links are made with your um, 0.4 um, gauge sterling silver wire. I really could do with winning the Wall of Fame as I'm desperate to have a try of the silver clay, so funds would come in very useful, as I'm always loving the shows and can't wait for the grand the, the grand reveal. Much love to you all. Vicky, do you know something we don't, Vicky? Revealing the new studio, I think. Ah, the new, ah, the new, yes. Of course, when it's all finished. <laughs> this is number 393. This is from, um, do you say that's Lorraine? Lorraine? Yes, I'd say. Um, I first discovered the JM channel in Spain when we had temporary access to satellite TV while we were travelling around Europe for a year in a tiny touring caravan. Huh. Uh, when I got back to the UK, I placed my first order and I'm starting small but put my first necklace in a shop in the marina where I live on a boat. It sold straight away and I have now two commissions. Fantastic. Um, I retired just before going on the trip and uh, making jewellery is absorbing and filling my time. I love to be creative. With the exception of this week, with this entry to the Wall of Fame, my inspiration is taken from nature, flowers, animals, birds and scenery. Oh. I print a card for each piece explaining what inspired me and include a photo. Isn't that lovely? That's gorgeous. What a lovely idea. Yeah, that's a lovely idea. Love the laughs and the ideas on the live show keep it coming from Lorraine in Cambridgeshire. What a lovely idea. That is a gorgeous idea, Lorraine. 393. Lovely. I think that's really lovely. The more the more information yeah, you more can give to people if you are. Yeah. yeah, the more personal you can make it, the better, I yeah. think. It's just oh what a love that was a lovely, lovely email. Really and, and and she first saw Jewelry Maker whilst touring Spain. round Spain. Goodness Spain. me. Lucky devil, lucky devil. We've had a text message, is that right? What does that say, uh, Debbie? I can't I can't say it from here. <laughs> Susan in Dorset. Hi all, you lovely people at JM. Fab show, loving the demos. Can Debbie tell me if the clay gives off any pongs while in the oven? Pardon the pun. Uh, thanks, Sherb. Thanks to you from Sherborne, Dorset. It's not raining. Right. The clay will give off a slight smell, yes. Is it like a waxy smell? Yeah, like a waxy sort of smell. And that's just the plasticizers that you can smell. Mm. It doesn't pong. Not a, not a big smell, I promise you. Um, I use a camping oven because it does give off a smell. And why I say put um, your foil, mm -hmm. make it like a foil tent over an old roasting dish if you're going to use your normal oven, mm -hmm. just so you don't get that smell. It isn't poisonous, it is, there's nothing wrong no, with I it re at I, all. I, I, I remember um, when I used to use um, polymer clay as a child, I remember, yes, it, yes, it does smell, but mm. it, it doesn't hang around for It's not long. toxic, but no. if you do burn it, it will give off a smoke. But anything if you burn, you burn the toast, it will give off smoke mm. and it will smell. You get more fumes from a Teflon frying pan than you do from um, polymer clay. But, but you won't get the fireball if that's what you're doing. No. <laughs> the fireball that I created no. with uh, with uh, Natalia when we did the uh, bronze oh, yes, and copper I saw clay. That. <laughs> that was hilarious. That's an Olympic flame. Do you remember that huge fireball? <laughs> I was saying, take cover, take cover. That was really bad. We've had another text in as well, is that right? Ah! Sylvia! 
uh, in Lancashire. Good morning all. Carol, please keep up the singing. Love Sylvia in Spain. Spain! Spanish oh, eyes. Remember I think last night. <laughs> I don't even oh. know how that goes. If I knew how Spanish no, I was No, no, don't, please, don't. Oh, Haunt go on, me. I might... No, no, Do you know, no, maybe no. you can sing it to me during the break and I can sing it when we come back. No, no, please don't. <laughs> My dad used to play the organ. That's the only song you could ever yes, play. Yes, that was it. And it went on for hours. Same song over and over again. Oh, he's driving me mad. Spanish eyes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> don't go anywhere. We've got a brand new bundle coming your way. We've got some more polymer clay. We've got loads. Oh. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs> Want to advance your polymer clay techniques? Then why not come and join us on our new Makum Garne course? Join our guest designer, Debbie Bulford, as she guides you through using textures and layers, working with colours and adding foils and much more. This is a fascinating technique. Depth, using layers of imprinted clay. During the course of the day, you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and take a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, Lisa Pavelka foils, use of all tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments. And all this for just £67.95. For details on course dates and availability, contact our call centre now on 0800 644 655. We look forward to seeing you. For this demonstration, we're using a round cord ending. Place the cord into the finding, making sure the cord is all the way to the top. Using your flat nose pliers, squeeze the tip of the finding together. Add to your collection with our Memory Wire DVD, which is full of hints and tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Follow Lucy and Debbie as they take you through how to create bracelets, necklaces and rings using Memory Wire. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call center on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Insert the reamer into the hole of the pearl and move it backwards and forwards with a slight twisting motion. The drill shape of the reamer will remove the pearl material from the hole as you enlarge it. Work until the hole is as large as you need for the threading material you're using. Join Jewelry Maker on Monday the 16th of July for our advanced beading show with guest designer Cherry Green. We're back. Um, I have just been listening to Spanish Eyes and I can't actually remember how it goes. Da, 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 that is exactly it. Oh. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> and it starts all over again. Oh dear. And your dad used to play that over and over again. Yeah, my bedroom used to be above the dining room where we used to play. <laughs> and every Sunday morning at seven o'clock, I think, oh, please, anything but Spanish art. <laughs> oh. oh. Him. With my dad playing the piano, and all, and he he claims he can play the piano. All he can do is da 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 da, da. and that's and that's it, <laughs> and that's all he can do. Oh, oh, so funny! Right now, we've got another brand new bundle for you here, um, incorporating fluorite. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous! I love my fluorite. Um, you get such wonderful, wonderful colours in this beautiful Jenny Mendem saying these are 10 millimetre rounds. These are a lot bigger than the fluorites which I've seen in the past. These are absolutely enormous. Lovely to see play round, uh, plain rounds of fluorite as well, I think. Absolutely gorgeous. Normally with the fluorite beads that we bring to you, they're normally, um, I think they're normally faceted and they're normally a, a, a little bit smaller than this. These are really, really, really big 10 millimetre beads here. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. Do you love those colours? Gorgeous greens, beautiful blues, and stunning purples. Called feminine beauty. Oh, ooh la la, ooh la la, with this beautiful bundle we are spoiling you. Eh? Uh, then you have a beautiful uh, strand of uh, the Rose de France uh, amethyst. No, I was trying to do a French accent, Ollie. Everyone's being cruel to me. Everyone's taking the Michael out of me today. Ryan, you wouldn't do that, would you? Dee Dee, you wouldn't do that, would you? I'm not even going to ask Debbie because she's already she's already <laughs> ribbed me about the singing already today. <laughs> Enough. You won't be invited back. So gorgeous um, lavender amethyst faceted rounds. These are gorgeous, beautiful size and shape here. And um, are these are these six millimeters, um, Scotty? Six millimeter faceted rounds here. Um, when you get six millimeter rounds, can you can you still make beady beads? Can't you? Oh yes, of course you can. Yes. Yeah. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Love that colour. Really, really beautiful colour. And how it's different to gemstones like uh, maybe a, a dyed um, uh, Chinese jade is the fact that you still get that texture within the gemstone. You can still see the kind of the crystalline structure of the gemstone in there. You're also going to be getting another strand here of lavender amethyst. It just goes so beautifully with so many of the strand parts we've already shown you today. Um, these are massive 10 millimeter faceted rounds here, which just look gorgeous. Now, if I pop this next to the lavender amethyst and blue lace agate we've already bought you today, which were, here we go, which are just gorgeous. Look at this. These two, these two three-strand bundles next to each other. I mean, that just fits together beautifully, doesn't it? And again, you've got it with the rose quartz, perhaps. Maybe with the rose quartz that we've already bought you today as well. You know, the, the, a three-strand, a, a three-strand bundle like this will go with so many of the strands, so many of the kits that we've already shown you today. Now, because you're going to be getting fluorite here, because you're going to be getting a genuine gemstone, which um, isn't very difficult for us to get hold of at all. You know, both of these um, qualities of gemstones are going to be difficult for us to attain um, here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and because the gemstones are so unbelievably large in this three strand pack, it's going to be a little bit more than the three strand pack that we just showed you with the amethyst and the blue lace agate. But I have to say, it's still an absolutely amazing deal. So two strands of 10 millimeter genuine gemstones here. And then that beautiful, highly faceted six millimeter strands of gorgeous lavender amethyst. It is a brand new bundle. And don't forget, only available till 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and then and then you won't be able to get hold of this bundle so it's only available till 9 a.m. tomorrow morning would you like to see an amazing deal today you're gonna absolutely love this beautiful feminine beauty um, um, three strand bundle here a brand new bundle for you today give us a call on our free phone number it's 0800 644 or get involved on our website which of course is jewelrymaker.com it's a brand new bundle it's yours today for less than 20 pounds now that is absolutely wonderful isn't it when you think that um, if you were to go to maybe you were to go to maybe a craft fair or maybe a jewelry fair or a gem fair and you would see a strand of amethyst but amethyst which is specifically this lavender amethyst amethyst which is specifically this rose de france lavender colored amethyst you know you've got something which is more specialized than just a strand of amethyst so in itself goodness me for 19.95 absolutely wonderful if you do make pieces of genuine gemstone jewelry and then sell them on debbie uh, bought, bought up a really good point actually last night make sure that people know that it's and amethyst because there are lots and lots of imitations out there this isn't an imitation this is genuine amethyst this is genuine fluorite mixed together or separated out it will look absolutely gorgeous i do 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 love um, uh, bundles like this now if you wanted to put it with the maybe the bundle we bought you a little bit earlier on with the rose um with the rose quartz and 95 selling silver chain go for it because you're also going to be getting that gorgeous heart-shaped chain in here as well which would just look gorgeous really 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 beautiful bundle here like available until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and then the bundle will not be available there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines of just over half a minute at the minute and um, we will answer your call as soon as we can hi Chris Hello. Chris just coming into the studio how are you doing I'm good, thanks, you. what gemstone would you say this is do you think it looks like kunzai yeah. it's amethyst yeah. amazing yeah. it's amazing yeah it's amazing. It is amazing though, it's just incredible. For less than 20 pounds, your gorgeous three strand bundle. Well done. There's lots and lots and lots of you on the phone lines there. Lots of people saying yes. I don't blame you at all. I think it's great. I think it's gorgeous. There's only 295p and p per order as well. Isn't that gorgeous? I love fluoride, don't you, Debbie? I do because you've got so many different colours in there. Mm. And it's a really sort of um, 
icy gem. What do you mean by that? It's quite a watery sort of. It's got a very. Um, it's, it's got a huge amount of clarity in it. It has, but I think it's quite spiritual. It's really nice. Yes. Yeah. Just, just doing little charms on things or to use on. Um, uh, what did Linda do once? The wine, wine glass charms? You've got so many different colours in there. Oh. You can do little charms on wine glasses. And yeah. Little key rings. And, you know, don't have to make a complete piece of jewellery when you get these gemstones. Mm. You can make other things. You know, you can make I a think beautiful key ring for someone to keep with them. Or I think you're right, you know. Debbie, because you've got... You've got uh, each, each one of these gemstones is going to be different. And some mm. of these gemstones look, look like they've just been um, uh, dipped in, in, in amethyst or dipped in some of those colours. Let's find some with... All of these All of these are totally unique. Because the clarity is so good... Because don't forget, cause you, you can have a gemstone which has got great clarity but has inclusions in, which is exactly what you're going to be getting with Florence. So it has great clarity but it has those inclusions. Yeah, like the entire quartz has great clarity but you can still see those inclusions. So, so it's not fully transparent. Look at this one here. Imagine that. As a as a as a as Debbie suggested, a wine glass charm. Maybe on a key ring. I'd love to know the myth and legend attached to a fluorite oil. I might do a bit of research on that. The myth and legend, of course it's only myth and legend, but it's lovely to it's lovely to think about that sometimes, isn't it? The kind of myth and legend and the kind of spiritual um, uh, healing powers. That, that some gemstones supposedly have of you know of course it is it is it is myth and legend but you know it, it, it's a wonderful thing to look at and to consider uh, when you are looking at gemstones a lot of people are into that aren't they so if you're doing a craft fair mm. you might want to sort of look into that and put a little tag on what they mean and I, th know. I think the more information you can give somebody who you're going to be selling something to the absolutely. better absolutely yeah you know, information, information is, is 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 key isn't it it really really is and uh, we've had um I know that there are lots of um, jewellery makers who, when they're selling pieces, um, uh, yes, do put little uh, cards in, not just business cards, but, um, uh, but cards in about the genuine gemstones. Right. And, and cards also around those around their stalls saying, you know, I use 95 sterling silver findings, I only use genuine gemstones. You know, I think it's, I th I think it's so unbelievably powerful. And also, I gave, I gave Mark an idea the other day. Mark Smith, one of the most enterprising, uh, one of the most enterprising uh, uh, designers we've got here on Jewelry Maker, um, and we were talking about bundles and three strand packs. And I said, well, if you come in and get one of these bundles, which has got beautiful genuine gemstones, you know the quality is so incredible. Why not get two? Because if you get two of these, then you can hang some of the gemstones up, literally from a from a little stand. So even if you get somebody to come up, um, who comes up to your stand who loves the design of something but can't see it in gemstones that they like, if you've got gemstones hanging up and they say, I'd like that design, but I'd like it with this strand here, you could do it. So why not come in and get um, a, you know, numerous bundles? Because if you come in and get more than one of these bundles, then, then at least you've got gemstones, which if somebody wants to um, have a bracelet or a, or a brooch or a, or, a, or a necklace made out of a certain strand, but they can't see it on your stand, but they can see the kind of design like then you can you can absolutely do that just amazing and you'll get and you'll build up such a great relationship as well with 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 customers and, and with other designers i bet as well it's a real kind of family sense i think when you go to some of these craft fairs as well it's really really great do you do you, do you tend to go to craft fairs at all I, do you know i don't have I time don't to have do time, them now. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> i don't have time to make up my own jewelry now it's dreadful isn't it but i used to love them because you used to learn things from the store holders mm. They'd help you, you know, with different designs, and uh, you have a chat to them and see what they're doing, and they see what you're doing, and you learn. You're always learning. I bet you some of your students do craft fairs, don't they? Yes, they do a lot. Yeah. Yes, a lot. How lovely! Mm. Um, that must make you really proud. Yeah, and I think well, all the ladies come here for the polymer clay. They go home and say, "Oh, I'm going to make this for my shop, or or for family or friends." And, and even if it's just for family and friends, mm. it's a gift, and I think that's really lovely—a handmade gift. Yeah, I think it's really special and it's unique. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It is. It is mm. totally unique. You're so right. Yeah. Now there is a queue on the phone lines. Quite please, please, please do hold those lines. And don't forget, if you are phoning from a BT landline, the phone call's free anyway, so it's worth the wait. And and if you and if you can think back to anything you've already seen today, which maybe you want to get hold of, um, but you haven't, but you haven't phoned up for it or haven't allocated it to yourself yet, then th then just have a think of those. Even if you don't know the the, the the code, but you know a brief description of what it is or roughly what time it's played, then then just go for it. Now hold those lines. There's still genuine chances left for that uh, bundle. Just to let you know. I'm going to head over to Debbie. Can we have another look at some polymer clay, Debbie? I'm absolutely... You, you 
Don't sort myself out, put my things away. Oh, goodness me, you've got all your challenge stuff That's out. Right. Sorry. That doesn't matter. I can have a look at some polymer sorry. clay while we're doing this. Okay. Do you have a look at small polymer clay? We've got um, this one here, um, uh, Scott, is the one with the. How do you say that word again? Oh, oh. Is it the one with the. Oh. I think it's the vintage one. Yes, that's the vintage one. What was that colour of, of clay you said was really useful? Is it opera? Uh, um, yes, this one. That ecru. Ecru, that's, that's it. Right. Opera is a vegetable, I think. It is. <laughs> Opera is a vegetable. Ladies, ladies, um, isn't it called ladies? Ladies' fingers. Ladies' fingers. What is that? Is it like I have a... no idea. I haven't got a clue. It's, it's, it's in a lot of um, it's like Asian cookery, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's like green. Oh, yeah. Anyway, they're not okra, <laughs> ecru. Almost there, just a few letters out. Um, now, this is our vintage uh, polymer clay. It's going to be the same price. It's going to be, it's, it's, it's going to be under £15. As you're going to be getting here are just gorgeous. Now, this has, I believe, the translucent in here as well, which is one of those staple colours that, that Debbie was talking about. It's also got uh, the ecru as well, which is another one of those staple colours. Now, you really can get any colour that you want to oh, by, gosh, by incorporating yes. yeah, them. You can, you can make any colour you want, basically. So the trans of these. How, how are the translucent and the ecru different in, in, in with regards to the kind of effect okay. that you translucent get? Translucent will give you, when you've baked it, almost like a plastic, like a, a resin mm -hmm. look. Um, and if you, you can use that very finely on top of pendants and it will look like you're looking through voil. Do you know what I mean? It's not transparent. It's translucent. Translucent. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, will, it gives you like a, um, a fine film over the mm -hmm. top, which for vintage and things like steampunk jewellery that everybody seems to be into, mm. that's perfect. The ecru is brilliant for taking all the colours down a tone. Mm -hmm. If you were to mix a little bit of the ecru in with orange, you then get this like um, a muted orange. Mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult to explain really, but try mixing that, especially with the purples and it gives um, an old look to it. It's a really old look, mm -hmm. like a violet colour rather than a strong purple. Mm -hmm. So the ecru is really, really useful, very useful. I think I think this is an absolute essential. If you've come, oh, in, to yeah. get, if you've come in to get the this black and the white, and you've come in to get yeah. the, um, the, the the big um, tool bundle that we bought you as well, I think, you know, something like this really is going to be essential because it's got the translation, it's got the ecru in there as well. Which is absolutely essential by the sounds of it to make yeah. it um, to, uh, to using your polymer clay, and that's yours today for just fourteen pounds and ninety five p. Now, um, what were we going to be doing now? I can't. Was it a cane? Were we go what, you can do a cane. What, would you like to we? do a cane? I don't know. But I, I thought I might use some of all the bits that I've made Yay! today. Awesome. Let's just stick them all in a cane. Now I know people have seen us do this before, but it's called a kaleidoscope cane. But just for quickness, we're going to do that. But I think it always is nice to see what it's going to come out like because you never know what's going to be inside it's really exciting to to cut it in half and not know what's going to be inside so to do a kaleidoscope cane because you do use a lot of the black you do actually yes you, you do you need to collect during your day of making your clay designs you need to collect all the offcuts so my ladies when they come on the workshop they say, oh, I've got, I've got so many offcuts. I've got the end of these canes that look a bit tatty. I've cut off. So we'll just keep them. Just keep them. At the end of the day, I, I um, get them all to do a kaleidoscope cane. And I was amazed at the, uh, the results. So what I want you to do is fold that in half again and just pop that through the machine. Oops. There's your piece of clay. Because you're going to do one and I'm going to do one. And you'll see, even using the same pieces, how different they're going to look, because I don't know how you're going to stack your cane, and you've no idea what I'm going to do either. So I'm going to give ah. So I'm going to give the same things to each of us, and we'll see the difference. So there's a bit of that, the spiral that we did earlier. So what do I do? I'll show you in a second. I'm excited. <laughs> it's like a little kid's, oh, look at the other one. It's one brilliant, there. though. Let's use some of this. Some of these. I mean, all the colours oh, yeah. you might think, oh, they're all going to Those flash. are the petals we used earlier on. That's right. And one. One. And what else can I use that we might go? Let's put some. Well, I've got some purple here that I used in a thing at home. Might be able to use Gorgeous. that. Okay. And a bit of this. There's all sorts of things I've got at home that I've got left over from brilliant. various things. Right. And also inside, we're going to put just a little bit of black and a little bit of white. 
wherever you fancy. Now, okay. Let me show you what we've got to do, and then I'll leave you to do your own. It's very <laughs> exciting. Very exciting. Right, here we go. This is great. To do a kaleidoscope cane, you can make any shape. I tend to make them into triangles because then you can fit them into um, into a design. If I move this into the centre mm -hmm. moment, okay. So first of all, you start off with a a long, thin piece of black clay or whatever clay you particularly want to wrap your kaleidoscope cane into. Yeah. Then you start placing on the edge just pieces of clay and you build up a triangle. Okay. Doesn't matter how you do it, you put them however you want. You can make them thinner, make them fatter, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to put them any old how. And the, and the more random you are, actually, the better. If you think about it too much, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to put them any old how. The bottom, ink on the top. <laughs> Stick Great. this purple, and purple one. I'm just going to roll this and make it smaller. Right. So it's got to be a triangle. Well, it doesn't have to be a triangle, square, you know, you can do whatever you want. Move that one out of the way. And then you wrap it. Okay. So then you lift this. The long end. Yeah. And put it over the top. Right, mm -hmm. and pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. Like that. Mm hmm. Now the excess clay, you can cut off, you can tear it off actually, you can just tear it off if you want to. Mm hmm. And there you have a bundle. It's almost like sushi. Okay. Okay. Pop it onto your tile, and this is where I squeeze it into a large triangle, like a particular bar of chocolate. Yes. Okay. And Please I turn don't it eat this, over and do it again and turn it over and you pull it. You pull it. So you pull it apart. Start to pull it with your finger to make it oh. longer. So as you turn it, pull it. And if it starts to split, don't worry. You can just push it back together for a second. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. right. Now, there is a blade for you. <laughs> Careful. I've got another blade here. Yep. <laughs> so now, it's like a slug. It is. If you cut it in half, it's going to be awesome. See what you've I'm got. Get so see excited. what I've got. <laughs> okay. You open yours up. <gasps> no way! Look at that! Now, obviously, they were using the same colours, but they're slightly different designs. Yeah! But it, I think that's really pretty. And what you can do, if we put this together, shall I hold it here? I don't know where to hold it. It's not there, okay? You can start to say, well, do I want it that way? Do I want it that way? Do I want it that way? And you can start to either roll it into a circle, or you can now start to build it into um, a pendant. If I cut this into three or four and make a, that is a awesome. circle, it's up to you. So that, Isn't that brilliant? Look now, you wouldn't that. think that green, purple, pink, pale blue, white, black would all go together, would you really? But in, in polymer clay, certain things go. You know, and Goodness everything me. goes, really. Isn't that brilliant? Have you ever come out with anything which looks um, slightly rude in the middle of a cane? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, only you can. Good night, No, but I'll tell you, with my scrap clay canes, I'll do one actually, I'll just make this into scrap. <laughs> You're going to make us a model? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, you always end up with a face. If I twist this, hold on a minute, make this mm. into a scrap clay cane. Don't do it with yours, you keep yours. Okay, okay. let's twist this. It's amazing, isn't it? If you twist and twist and twist and then roll. Now if I cut this in half, you'll see that it's symmetrical. So then you've got some, now normally there's a face or something in there. There's Goodness normally me, that's quite amazing. gothic actually. <gasps> Look at okay, that, that. That's what I mean about scrap clay. You take, spend all day doing a cane and then you mix it all together, cut it in half, and you think, do you know that looks far better than what I've just made all day? So that you could cut into three pieces and make different pendants if you wanted to. And the only thing I would say is if that's you turn it over, incredible. you've got a big gap. So I put a piece of clay down the middle mm -hmm. and then cover it with black clay. So you don't get that bump. Oh, that's okay. incredible. Okay. You always get something slightly weird in there. Too. Yeah, that's amazing. Because I've seen your designs before. I've seen I've seen them on Facebook, and obviously I've seen your made-up pieces. And I thought, I wonder how she how you make those pieces. I thought you would painstakingly sit there, kind no, of no, pushing no. clay into each other. And no, I like that. No. Is, um, if you knew me, Carrie, you knew I do everything at 90 miles an hour. It has to be quick. <laughs> it has to be quick for me. 
That is absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. That is amazing. I'm sorry for asking you that question. It's kind of what I was thinking. I tend to say, I tend to say what's floating around in my head. That is really good. That is just gorgeous. Oh, I'm so proud of that. That's absolutely wonderful. I'll make that into a pendant for you. Oh, do Debbie. something. Oh, thank do you something so much. Is that gorgeous? That, that is absolutely wonderful. Please don't go anywhere. Goodness me, is it course to one? Goodness me. Um, don't go anywhere. We've got one more bundle to bring to you. Um, and then we've got a challenge to recap as well. <laughs> Debbie, it's been amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, don't go anywhere. We've got another brand new bundle coming up in just a couple of seconds. Join Jewellery Maker on Monday the 16th of July for our advanced beading show with guest designer Cherry Green. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage, where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We've had a giggle today, have we? Oh, it's been absolutely brilliant. It's been great fun having Debbie here. Um, now, we've got another bundle here. Now, I do beg your pardon. I thought this was, was actually brand new. I've never seen this before. I don't know if you have. It's absolutely massive. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bundle. I'll just take these gemstones off the set because I want to kind of um, show you the gems that are in here. They're absolutely gorgeous. You're going to be getting a strand of beautiful ovals of shell. Now, the pearl essence you're going to be getting here is really, really striking. Look at this. On one side, you're going to be getting a really, really deep kind of smoky black. And on the other side, you're going to be getting, oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Really, really, really beautiful, beautiful strand of shell here. Um, these are around about 15 by 12 millimetres in diameter. Big shell ovals. This would be wonderful, maybe in a necklace or a bracelet. They're really, really smooth. Um, little ovals you're going to be getting here absolutely gorgeous now we've got a strand of fluorite here which is not too dissimilar uh, rose quartz and peridot we've already bought you today these are gorgeous perfectly formed little cubes of uh, of hematite uh, sorry no not hematite uh, fluorite here they are uh, four millimeters in diameter 60 carats in total isn't that gorgeous beautiful colors in there the whole the whole spectrum of colors that you would expect with gorgeous fluorite including the really really rare um, kind of yellowy color fluorite as well now following on with the cube theme we've got massive hematite cubes here these are just gorgeous really 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 heavy strands here of demagnetized um, uh, hematite here really really big cubes eight millimeters in diameter this is a really heavy 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 strand but do you know what because the shell is so light and because actually the fluorite is quite light as well and um, um, it doesn't actually matter you know he hematite is actually the heaviest gemstone on the in the world heaviest gemstone in the world you kind of you kind of measure the kind of uh the weight of gemstones the kind of uh, I, I forget what the equation is but um it's 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 in comparison to their to their uh weight um their equivalent weight in water and hematite is the heaviest gemstone amber's the lightest gemstone and um, you've then got beautiful plain rounds here of gorgeous this looks like black agate to me oh no actually no these are they're pearls goodness me They're kind of, um, they're black, genuine freshwater culture pearls here. They've been dyed this incredible kind of Tahitian black. That's absolutely awesome. I just assumed they'd be uh, black agate, actually, because they're very, very dark indeed. It's like a navy blue um, uh, potato pearl here. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, we've got another strand of fluorite here, which has got more of the greens in. Looks entirely different to that, doesn't it? Um, beautiful big nuggets here. And then, appetite. Now, we very, very seldom see appetite on jewelry. 
If we do ever see it, it's normally in tiny nuggets um, or it's uh, with 95 cents of a chain. These are big, big, big nuggets you're going to be getting here of appetite. Appetite drop star chips are about 12 by 8 millimetres. There's 230 carats in this one strand. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Big, big, big strand of appetite here. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours there. Now, this beautiful bundle is yours today. Would you like to see your amazing price? I would. $24.95. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six strands of genuine gemstones for under £25. That really is a great price. That's a really, really, really fantastic deal, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. Give us a call. It's a free phone number from BT Landline. It's 0800 644 655. Or get involved on our website, which is jewelrymaker.com. A really, really big bundle here. Big, big, big striking bundle. And yours today for less than £25. Absolutely gorgeous. There's lots of you on the phone lines there. It would originally be about £38 um, um, if you were to buy these individually from our website. But this gorgeous six-strand bargain bundle is yours for less than £25. An absolutely awesome price. Well done to you, my darlings. That's really, really great, isn't it? Gorgeous. And easily one of the most popular bundles of the day was this. It is so pretty. Where we offered you... Gorgeous rose quartz on 95 settings of a chain. Beautiful peridot on 95 settings of a chain. I can't remember the last time I bought you peridot um, on Jewelry Maker, and we've, and we've had two strands of it today. And natural garnet, which again, you hardly ever see on Jewelry Maker, with 95 settings of a chain. All of these are nine inch lengths of 95 settings of a chain with the gemstones attached. And you're gonna be getting a nine inch length of silver heart chain as well, which is just gorgeous. Um, Debbie has said that she's um, sometimes uh, cut the bottom of the um, heart here and embedded it onto uh, polymer clay into a, a bale for a necklace, which I think is just a great idea. You know, just gorgeous. This chain is ever so slightly curved as well as it won't sit flat, which I think is really, really great if you want to make this into bracelets um, or use them as charms to hang from um, down from necklaces or maybe even earrings. And it's at 20 pounds as well that is a lot lower than where i thought we'd be going today you know considering how much of these and um, how how much these chains have been in the past already over 150 of these mini bundles have been have been allocated which is really really great to see so your natural garnet your beautiful peridot your stunning rose quartz and of course your 95 settings of a chain we've done the hard work for you there we've attached them onto the chain and they're yours today for less than 20 pounds a really 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 great deal for you today well done my darlings so give us a call it is a free phone number from bt99 or get involved on our website which of course is a jewelry maker great 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 opportunity for, um, uh, for you to get involved there absolutely wonderful well done absolutely gorgeous now we've got um we've got debbie with us today obviously and we've been having so much fun with the polymer clay um it's been it's been so much fun we also set Debbie a challenge, as if, as if having demonstrations for each of the kits and polymer clay demonstrations, we've also given her a challenge as well. We've really, really made you work hard today, haven't we, Debbie? You have. Oh. <laughs> she sounds a bit, she sounds a bit. No. No, I like it. I love, love I love us? to be kept, yeah, I love to be kept busy, you know that. To be kept busy. I do. So right. It was a gorgeous challenge, wasn't it? It was. I've hardly used any of it. I do apologise to no, everybody out there. No, don't apologise. It's absolutely it's fine. One. We gave uh, Debbie a, a four-strand pack of rondelles uh, with amethyst, black onyx, uh, carnelian, and there was another gem. Oh, um, and smoky quartz. Uh, and we named that bundle the rondelles. Um, that was yours. How much? How much was that bundle again, Debbie? me 29.95 that was a really really big saving on that as well so under 30 pounds for your rondelle bundle we then gave uh, debbie the aragonite which i love the way you've used this aragonite oh uh, which of course is the bright blue genuine gemstone here um and the aragonite that was a thousand carats of gorgeous aragonite um, which you're going to be which debbie's using this neck uh, with both these necklaces here and how much was the aragonite was it yeah yeah it wasn't yeah 11 pounds and 40 another fantastic price um, and we also gave you the beading wire as well and I was waiting to see how how you'd use the beading wire I wanted to do a big necklace that uh, that doesn't look right being a bracelet I know it doesn't work yes, it as does. a bracelet. Well, it doesn't I don't think it does because you catch it on things but I didn't have time think... to do it because normally you do about three or four strands of this huge length and then you twist it all together as a necklace but I just ran out of time so I just did a small bracelet which you can 
used, so I'm not too much. It doesn't look pretty. I don't know. I think I think if you were to go to um, if you were going to something like a black tie do, and you were going yeah. to be wearing a gorgeous a gorgeous dress, and you probably wouldn't have. Um, you know, you wouldn't have something with something. sleeves. No. I think I think that would be absolutely perfect. I think that's just gorgeous. I, uh, better as a, as a necklace. I think with some, probably as with a necklace. Some, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think so definitely, and, and with two or three more strands twisted into it. But you can see the idea. It's just the same as a, as a tiara technique, really. But it's a really simple idea, and that wire is perfect for doing it. Actually, brilliant. I was going to ask, was it easy to use? Oh, was yeah. the wire easy perfect, to use? Really. And I wanted to do a necklace with lots and lots of, of circles of all the different colours, but I just ran out of time. So I just um, just quickly, just in the last two seconds, just did a couple of earrings using the um, mm -hmm. these beautiful beads because I hadn't the used them at all. Just Carnelian, gorgeous. Is gorgeous. That's I just absolutely fine. Didn't have time. You've had a lot to deal with today, <sighs> Debbie. Goodness me! As well as having demonstrations, you've all had your, your polymer clay as well, and the aragonite. Oh, I love. I that love it. Got quite a lot left over. It might just disappear. No, I'm really joking. <laughs> um, no, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I love how you've used the aragonite. You did suggest maybe using it as 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 the top mm. of a tassel, and it's exactly what you've done here, which just looks gorgeous. Because you really fully get to appreciate the quality mm. in each one of these gems. There's some lovely, lovely patterns. I think I'd have put that on a brown leather cord or something. That would mm. look better. Mm. Um, but I just love them. Love them. They are just gorgeous. The aragonite mm. is wonderful, and you've used it so beautifully with the smoky quartz and the um, onyx there. It's just gorgeous. And then, of course, you've actually incorporated silver mesh beads. Um, but do you know what? The um, the rose gold coloured mesh beads would look just yeah, as great. Yeah, they only had a silver, couple left they? under there, but um, no, the silver ones look really nice. I think. Yeah, they look gorgeous, yeah. and you've incorporated some smoky quartz in there as well. That's a really that's a really beautiful design, isn't it? Gorgeous colours. I, love, I love the aragonite. I love the colour of the aragonite. I just like the chunky necklaces. It's a bit more contemporary. I just think it looks really, really lovely. Mm. And the, the light just catches these smoky quartz, doesn't it? As you move. You can imagine wearing that with maybe a, 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 a beautiful crisp white shirt and a pair of jeans. Yeah, lovely. That, that would just look great, yeah. wouldn't it? Just beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, th seriously, for, for someone who's been so busy today, you've actually done an awful lot. Have I passed then? I've been all right. Yes, you've passed. Very good. You've got to sing for us next time, though, Debbie. Oh no, no, no! It's going to be my um, it, it's going to be my uh, mission to get Debbie Balford singing oh, on no, jewelry no, making no, before no, the no. year is out. <laughs> I've got time to kind of. Uh, I'm going to. I'm. I'm going to wear you down. I'm going to wear you down. One day I'm going to turn up. There's going to be a karaoke screen or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just see that. <laughs> no, I never do no. that. Don't worry. Oh, don't my have husband you will be yourself there. today. I've had a fabulous time today. Thank you very much. It's been great yeah, fun, isn't it? It's always fun. good fun. It's been really Debbie. good. It's always a bit silly, but it's always it's, it's always Thank good you. fun. <laughs> and the polymer and the polymer clay. That is amazing. And I'm genuinely. I've been I've been really really looking forward to doing the show today with you because I knew we were going to be doing polymer clay, but I've been genuinely speechless by the by the polymer clay. It's been it's been absolutely amazing. But it's easy, isn't it? See, you made the flower. You could make that little bracelet easily. Yeah, it's been fantastic, and of course the incredible kits that we've had today as well, which you've mm. which you've introduced the polymer clay to as well, which is just incredible. Um, the um, the the brand new kits have been absolutely brilliant. Have you have you had a favourite kit? Um, I think the first kit actually in the summertime. Yeah, that, that I loved, 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 loved love that kit. I think it's beautiful. That was with the, that was with the Amazonite, mm. the Aragonite, and the Hematite. It was. That looks mm. stunning, especially with the gold findings. I think it just looks beautiful. Yeah, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Look at that. Isn't that really beautiful? That's incorporating the polymer clay Very and good. the Amazonite there with the rose gold plated findings. And then you introduced purple, which I think is a really, a really brave decision, but I think the right decision. Because the purple just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I would never have thought of putting purple with a kit like this, but it works beautifully. Really, really does. Thank you. Gorgeous. You are a very talented lady, Thank Debbie Goldford. Are you doing? Are you going to be doing another DVD for us? Do you think? I am. I am. The only reason I haven't done it is because of the studio move and doing the late show, and it's difficult to get in between timing. Ah, are you doing see? a DVD with um, Rachel? With Rachel next week. Is it next week? This is going to be amazing. And then I've got another one to do just on the polymer clay. Then I'm in next Friday mm -hmm. doing the same thing with kits, but with the Lisa Pavelka foils and things. So. Goodness. What, with the Lita Pavelka foil? Yes. Goodness. And the textures and the water slide transfer. She's so busy, isn't she? She's so busy. Busy, busy little bee. We've got uh, Linda and 
Vicky with you tomorrow, Lovely. and they're going to be bringing you tanzanite and spinel. Oh, I'm going to be with you uh, for the late show this evening. It's going to be me and Sarah, so that's going to be really good. Fun. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a brilliant show. There's been loads of great interaction with you. Um, thank you so much for all your Wall of Fame entries as well, which are absolutely gorgeous. Um, thank you very much, Debbie. Pleasure. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you later on the late show. Take care. Bye bye. bye. You can watch Juramaker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756 or FreeSat 807. Get creative with Jewelrymaker. The Jewelrymaker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelrymaker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jury making. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Good morning to you. And how are you this morning? Saturday morning. Saturday morning. I was into Annika Rice on the way into work today. She's got a funny voice, hasn't she? She has. She sounds. She, she, she sounds really kind of happy. Did you listen to Annika Rice this morning, Debbie? Actually, no. Radio Two. No, I must try that. Yeah, Annika Rice on a Saturday morning before Brian uh, Matthews sounds of the sixties, which is one of the.